folks, welcome back race fans tonight. The OP Super Speedway Buck Kicker Unlimited Xfinity Series Season 14. Round number three of the top 16 here in the playoffs. Of course, it's all about who can get up to the top spot here in six races. We have unloaded at Bobblehead at Daytona 08, the old Daytona. I mean, you know how it goes. Presented to y'all by Max Speed TV. The three Musketeers up here in the booth. JM Squared, Stephen Lay, myself, Joshua, Jeremy, Stephen. Both of y'all, how are y'all doing here tonight? This should be a pretty good race. Oh, man, this is going to be a fun race. Well, uh, well, I thought you was going to sit there and talk for 10 minutes. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, it's Bumpy bump bump Daytona, taken. so... <laughs> Bumpy Daytona, this is going to be a bobblehead race all night long, but 100 laps, yeah, it's, it should be a good one. We got almost 30 drivers now, so uh, it's going to be a, uh, I hope it's not a caution fest. Yeah, yeah. No, it's going to be a packed field. I mean, yeah. you're talking super speedway, guys. It's it's going to be fast. Uh, again, like Josh said, you know, we're at Bumpy Daytona, old Daytona. Tires, uh, this track will eat up the tires. Yes. So, uh that's gonna that's definitely gonna be uh pit stop strategy is, is gonna be the key to winning tonight yeah yeah definitely so and of course i've already got the pre-race analytics pulled up here and i actually changed the fuel window here to uh, uh 15 to question mark because we just never know how many laps they're gonna go you know to, at the end of the race now roughly it's about uh 15 to 18 15 to 20 Somewhere around in there if you're in the draft. But, you know, we're not dealing with a whole lot here tonight either, guys. You know, track tip is only 84, little to no win. 100 laps, 250 miles done. Steven, you did say about eating up the tires. Now, they do get unlimited tires. So, you know, if the cautions do come out and they can keep tires on the car, uh, then, you know, they won't have that tire issue. But if they get those long green flag runs, tires – you know, tires could become a problem, you know, if they, you know, the cautions don't come out. So, yeah. you know, going to have to keep an eye on that throughout the race. Of course, pit road is a make it or break it. You know, it's, you know, uh, pit speed is 60 mile an hour with a pace speed of 70 here tonight. So, you got to be safe out here. You know, our, what is it, third race into this round of, you know, top 16 you know, only six races? Uh, I, yeah, yep. Third, yeah, I think yep, so. Round, yeah. round, yep, season four, yeah, round three of the chase. Yeah, so, I mean, we, we got several races to go. Uh, you know, to find out what's going to happen, you know, we'll take a look at our point standings here. But I do want to let everybody know we do have a few ties coming into tonight. So the points are still close. Even from our leader in the point standings all the way back to last place, Christopher Jordan. So, you know, there is a gap, but, you know, if everybody ahead of Christopher Jordan, Stephen and Bub, you know, they have a bad race and Christopher just continues to, you know, have good races, consistent races, not necessarily winning races, but consistent ones, you know, he is going to be right up in that fight for that championship. Yeah. yeah, and and you know, like you said, consistent. As long, if he doesn't it'll need to win, but if he's getting consistent finishes, top tens, top fives, uh, yeah, he'll be up there definitely. All right, let me see here real quick. I gotta bring Man. up the calculator. Go ahead, bub. Anthony English just took a tumble. He's on his he's on his backside right now. All right, there's only 45 points that separate first to last place. So that is actually closer than what I thought. You know, I thought it was maybe 50, 60, but, you know, 45, that, that's right there. So yeah. uh, we'll get into chat here in just a minute. Looks like we've got a pretty good turnout right now. 12 watching, six likes. Smash the like button, folks. Hit it with a hammer. Just don't hit it too hard. You might break your computer, your thumb, or something uh we don't want any injuries out there here tonight but a big shout out to everybody tuning in we're going to step aside here real quick play the national anthem provided by madison rising and we're going to get crazy up here in the booth tonight folks so hang tight we'll be right back
This is Rio of Madison Rising, and you're watching Max Speed TV. Alrighty, folks, we are back. The Amigos back up here in the booth. I got the points up here, and they aren't qualifying, so we're going to kind of run down through these here real quick. Nagel's up at the top spot at 1074. Adam Kilday in second at 1061, only 13 behind Cody, our first tie between Mark Mann up three spots and Dustin Logston there at 1060, 14 behind the leader, but only one behind Adam. EJ DeBoer in that fifth spot, up three as well, 1055, 19 behind the leader and five behind Logston and Mann. Vicente up nine spots, guys. That's coming, a huge jump. Yes, coming into tonight after two rounds at 1046 and 6, 28 behind the leader and 9 behind EJ. In our second tie, David Strangle and Nicholas Wing, we are missing Wang somewhere. I think he might be out there on the track, unfortunately missing the chase. But Wing and, uh, and Strangle tied here for 7th. 
at 10.45. 20 down behind the leader and one behind the Zente. Steven Miles up to and Ander down one. They are tied for ninth at 10.43. 31 behind the leader and two behind Wing and Stringle. Kenneth Bishop down eight spots coming in two tonight. He's got some work cut out for him. In 11th at 10.42, 32 behind the leader and one behind Andrew. Brian Miskell Jr. down seven. He's got some work cut out as well. <clears throat> He's in 12th at 10.41, 33 behind the leader and one behind Kenneth. Anthony English down one into 13th at 10.37, 37 behind the leader and four behind Brian. Ra uh, Richard Sanchez in 14th at 10.31. Uh, 43 behind the leader and six behind Anthony. Kevin Freeze at 15th at 10.30. 44 behind the leader and one behind Richard. And Christopher Jordan, who I was talking about earlier, you know, our, our, from our leader to our 16th, you know, of our 16 drivers, you know, he said at 10.29, he is only 45 points behind uh, Cody Nagels, you know, and one point behind Kevin. So, you know, even though we're coming into our third race out of the six, guys, Anything is possible. I mean, always expect the unexpected. And it looks like qualifying is coming down to the wire here. It looks like Hunter. Hunter Reynolds. Oh. Hunter Reynolds. Yeah, Hunter. <laughs> looks like maybe grabbing the pole out here tonight. Let me see here if I can. Yep, yeah, there he is. He's down there with his dad, Jimmy. Yeah, he's oh. down there in team one. Yep, yeah, he'll be easy to find. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. And he's going he's to take the pole. Yes, he will take the pole. Let's go ahead and get him up here real quick. Hunter Reynolds, bud, get a copy. Yes, sir. What's up? Well, it's the Boneheads up here in the booth, myself and my brother and Steven. Uh, congratulations on the pole out here tonight, buddy. I know you don't really race much over here. I mean, you can when you can, you do. But you know about... Yeah. <clears throat> go ahead. Oh, sorry. No, you're not. You're good. You're good. Well, bye you, bye you bye. know about old Daytona. You know you know what you need to do out here tonight to, you know, kind of play a factor and upset these drivers. Man, talk about it. What you got to do, bud? Yeah, well, first of all, we got to break these bumps out here, man. This track is bumpy. Might be three wide tonight, but definitely hold on to the car. These Xfinity cars have been pushing pretty horrible, so definitely probably not going to be pushing eight and one in the corners unless I necessarily need to. But, uh, yeah, just survive, man. There's a lot of cars out here, a lot of laps to get done, and uh, keep the car clean. All right, yeah, and, of course, y'all got that uh, one fast repair if needed. Hopefully, y'all don't have to use it early. So, uh, but good luck down there, buddy. Let's see what happens, man. 100 laps. Good luck. Yep, for sure. Thank y'all. Yep. All right. Well, that is Hunter Reynolds. He, we hardly ever get to see him, but when we do, man, he he usually comes out here and tears these guys up if he doesn't get involved in a, well, you know a what. But let's get down here on the grid. Do we have the Easter bunnies and stuff ready here tonight? Hopefully everybody has a, a good Easter tomorrow. Of course, Easter weekend. Here we go. To grid him up here on the Max Speed TV grid. Hunter Reynolds, we just talked to, grabbing the pole with a 57 6 5 and one lap. Good lap there, my Hunter. Anthony English going to start on the outside of him in second. Cody Nagels is going to be on the outside in third. Richard Sanchez, fourth. Joey Beck, fifth. Vicente Guerrero, sixth. Christopher. <laughs> Christopher Jordan in seventh, Adam Kilday in eighth, John in ninth, Sean Stevens tenth, David Stringle eleventh, Dana Shepard twelfth, Dave Hunt thirteenth, Mark Mann fourteenth, Nathan Warren fifteenth, Jimmy Riddle sixteenth, Derek Donna seventeenth, Andrew Maletta in eighteenth, Larry Eddy nineteenth, the Brian Miskell Jr. in twentieth, Keegan Sabilo twenty first, Adam Green twenty second, Gary. Bergeron, 23rd, Matt Wagner, 24th, Rick Seabrands, 25th, Andrew Zonto, 26th, Nicholas Wing, 27th, Dustin Longston, Longston, in 28th. You did it then. I did it then, yeah. sorry. Stuart yeah, Roderick, 29th, <laughs> Kenneth Bishop in 30th, EJ DeBoer, 31st, BK Anderson. We hardly ever get to see him, but glad to see him out here racing. He is going to start in 32nd. Bo Benham, 33rd. Robert Edgerton, 34th. And Lynn McNeese going to be rounding out the field here tonight, guys. 35 hot rods here this evening. And every single one of them gridded. Oh, golly. Yep. All right. They sure well, did. coming out of turn number two, we got picks out here tonight. Bub, who's your pick? I forgot. Oh. Oh, never mind. It's number six, Cody Nagels. Cody Nagels uh, is my brother's pick here tonight, Stephen. Well, I got to go with my boy Derek Donna tonight. I think he's due for a win. Uh, he's been running really well lately the last few weeks. 
Uh, he kind of got caught up in other people's stuff, but I think he's going to... I think he's going to push his way up to the top, especially if he gets some help. All right. Well, I'm actually going to go for his help here tonight as well. Dana Shepard in the 43. So uh, we got some uh, we, we got some underdogs out here tonight. So no pressure. No pressure. Uh, um, I know uh, Ginger Parent, Daniel Parent out there probably going to be like, oh, here we go. But <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Mara's out there. Yep. Oh, there she is. Mara, how you doing? Always rooting on the 04 Mark Man. Yeah, she's probably mad at, us, mad at all of us because we didn't pick Mark. We didn't pick Mark, yeah. My, Mark, Mark will tell me about it later. So, hey, oh, yeah. 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 Uh, hey, Mayor. <laughs> all right, here we go. Place Garbage Dive off to the safety of Pit Road. I'm going to have to back off my mic here a minute because if not, um, I will end up cutting out. But the race car is going to dive off to the safety of Pit Road. Here we go, folks. Come into the green for the first time. Bring it is out. Boogity, 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 folks. Here we go. We're racing at the 08 of Daytona Bobblehead. <laughs> you had to say it, didn't you? I had to say it. Bobblehead Daytona. Bobblehead. You know, one thing I was going to tell you, Josh, one uh, one thing we got to look out for as well is, is uh, track position. You know, yeah. we're, we're, talking about, we're talking about the tire wear. You know, you get down on that low line, you know, you really get into the rougher part of the track. So if they can, if they can get some pushing and get up into that mid or the high line, I think they'll be uh, in pretty good shape as far as tire wear. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So we're watching R80 Hunter going to the outside here ahead of the 44 of Anthony English. Now the six taking over the lead on the inside with the 18. Well, I think it's the 18, 18 on the car, but I think it's supposed to be the 794 of Joey Beck. So we have a, whoa, uh, Cody might have got a little bit of a bump there by the 18. Wow, Cody going up top side here tonight. Wow. He did lead the first lap. Now, I was going to ask you a question earlier, Stephen, because my brother has yet to actually race yet, but hopefully that does come soon. You have raced at this track. You yes. know what this track is like. Tell the fans out there how bumpy this track really is. Uh, again, uh, you get down on that low line uh, in the corner, especially in, in turns three and four, it, it'll beat you to death. Uh, you know, the, the main thing is to be light on the wheel and try to anticipate the, uh, the, the little jiggle that you get in your steering wheel when you hit that bump. Uh, if, you could, if you could defeat that and kind of get to know where the uh, a mark on the track is, where that bump is, uh, you're able to kind of get through it a lot easier than, than it's surprising you. Yeah. Uh, I went back here to Dustin Logston because I've seen his speed just reached 192 miles an hour oh. behind the triple seven here of Adam Green. He did hit the highest speed from what I could see. Uh, I, I mean, right now, well, there's 195 from Kenneth Bishop. So wow. they're reaching speeds, guys, anywhere between 192 to 195 in the draft. Now, the guys out front, I don't think, Bub and Steven, they're going to really reach that high due to the fact they're out front. They're not in the draft. They're leading that draft. Right. And and the car behind them if, if, or is going to be pushing them. Yeah, so uh, the, the, sorry about go that. Ahead. Go uh, ahead, Jerry. Tony and Hunter just reached 190, but that's, that's as high as I've seen them. Uh, both of them so but yeah yeah i mean you get in that draft especially if you got a car pushing you you're you're going to get you know in the the mid 190s uh, even if you're out front bring out the cot and let's see these guys hit close to 210 miles oh. An hour. <laughs> oh man that'd be a good charity race a good fun race i don't think it'd be good for points <laughs> no no uh, all right well let's check out on everybody here they've got a couple of laps in the books here already so some you know, solid side by side. I wouldn't necessarily say they're dooring each other out there, but they are trying to steal that side graph. We've seen it with Cody and Joey. You know, oh, since we started, a little wiggle back there too, I seen around, I want to say that was around, let me get back here, uh, around Nathan Warren, Christopher Jordan, could have been Dana Shepard. It was around this area here at about, you know, 10th, 11th, 12th, somewhere in this ballpark. But everybody's all right. Now, Cody has led all the laps so far. He is really controlling the, 
I would say really he's controlling both lanes per se. If he sees a run and he's got an opening on the inside, he'll go. He does the same thing with the outside. So he is really controlling this race right now, guys. Yeah, and the one thing about switching lanes like that, it, it, you know, as long as you're not scrubbing your tires, uh, you start scrubbing your tires, then you're going to start getting some fall off big time. Yeah. I can't wait till my brother gets some experience out here, man. He's uh, <laughs> he, he he's be like, oh man, they were right. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know when that's going to be. So. Yeah. Well, hey, this way, this way, yo, it, it, it'll come. I want to practice for a while before I. Oh yeah, and I think Stephen will even tell you about practice, practice, practice. <laughs> Yeah, guys, I'm, I'm still getting out here, and even though I'm not around other cars, I've been doing a lot of test runs, uh, and just, you know, like you said, just getting out here and getting seat time, that's yeah. that's making me better. Yeah. All right, a lot of single file going on back here toward the back. These guys really not putting any kind of pressure on anybody. They just kind of hang it out back here toward the back. You start getting up here to round BK and Derek and the, who is that? The uh, 007 of Stewart, you know, just right there with him. This is where that side by side really starts. And then all the way up, of course, this front pack is, you know, just kind of hammered down side by side. Cody, um, let's see here. Cody has led five of the seven. So I guess Hunter got that other lap. So Hunter finally led a lap here tonight in the uh, Reynolds wrap. You get it, Hunter Reynolds, Reynolds wrap? Yeah. Yeah. He probably, no, yeah, he probably did that. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> no, 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 literally, it's Reynolds wrap. I don't know if you have training paints pulled up or not, but... <laughs> well, I do, but I, I think I'm still having problems with mine because I'm, I'm not seeing... You might have to uninstall and reinstall it. Probably, yeah. He always runs that paint. Hopefully he don't have to use any Riddles wrap here tonight. Uh, he might have, if he does, he might, to, ha, might have to add some duct tape to it. I don't think we've got a duct tape car. I guess we could, man, Cody, shoot to the top side again here. Man, right. I, Yeah, right in front of Anthony. Yeah, <laughs> that is scary. Five, nine, ten to John, and from ninth to sixth, he's also on the outside line. Three wide! Three wide! Yep. That's a zero two five. It didn't last long, but it was there. Uh, trying to find him. Where's he at? Zero two five. That's Larry Eddy. Oh, okay, yeah. All right, coming to lap number ten. Next time, I've been a good, solid ten laps. Let's see here. Oh no, Cody getting loose. I think he got bumped. Here we go. Uh -oh. Save it. Uh, save it. Yeah, there we go. No, right no. Oh. oh no. We got, yeah, we got yeah, we got stuff going on in the back. Yep. Oh man, oh man. All right. Well let's see here. Looks like the 049. I am gonna go all the way forward. Oh jeez. Yeah, it's a big one. Cody. Yeah. I don't know how he got through that. <laughs> Cody. Oh, not Cody. Cody was up front. Yeah, Cody was up front. Yeah, I don't know what but, I but it all kind of got started up here with Cody. Cody and, and number twenty six. No, and uh, and uh, the, the, the the Reynolds wrap car of Hunter Reynolds. <laughs> Reynolds wrap. Yeah, Reynolds wrap. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, I speak my mind, and it happens. Cody uh, did get loose. Yeah, it looks like. Oh, oh, he got hooked by Anthony. He yeah, got, he got hooked by Anthony. I do believe. Yep, he yeah, he sure did. All right, we're going to get on Cody Nagels here, and I forgot to put uh, uh, Control F12 again. Did you really? Yes, I did. All right, man, look how close they are, guys. And right there, a little bit of rubbing. He rubbed it just a little bit too much, and it hooked the 6 mm. right down into the 26. Now, they did save it, but that caused a mayhem back here. Yeah, it did. Um, yeah, and those three, those three front cars are still the front three right yeah, now. And I'm trying to crossing. find out. Yeah, right here with the uh, the 27 of Sean Stevens, and yeah, you know, and the five. Nathan Ward's gonna get involved, I believe. Yeah, man, a lot of drivers involved in this. Zonto, Warren, Sanchez, Larry, Eddie. 
Um, Sean Stevens. Oh, he took a hard shot off that inside yeah. wall. Yeah, he did. It looks like BK Anderson also. Uh, the triple seven of Adam Green. Man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Richard Richard Sanchez has used his fast repair. Look at chat. YouTube chat. <laughs> <laughs> Matt. <laughs> yeah, it seems like the five man is usually in the wrong spot at the wrong time. Richard Sanchez, a great guy to talk to. Uh, you know, just not having. Yeah, well, Best of luck, you know, here tonight. It looks like Nathan Warren. Okay, I thought he took his car behind pit wall, but he didn't. He is in his pit box here. So, well, a good little run there. Not the run we was hoping for, but we can go ahead and, <clears throat> I guess, pull a driver up here tonight. Where is the 14, Vicente, right there in second. Let's go and grab him. Vicente, got a copy, buddy? Yes, sir. Well, you're up here in second. A good little run there at about 10 laps. Uh, I know y'all were, y'all would be coming up on the pit stops there at about five or six, but man, talk about that first 10 lap run. How did it feel, you know, in the draft and, you know, beside other drivers? Um, Car's getting hot. Yeah, the draft, he's, uh, B car is uh, their body, so they kind of want to float up a little bit. Um, but yeah, it was a nice little run there at the start of the race, so I hope uh, we continue to have that. Oh yeah, definitely. So let's get a green flag stop in here tonight. I think you guys can do it. It's just gonna, I think patience. You know, this track is not easy. So uh, Vicente, good luck out there. It looks like you're gonna be on the inside here of Cody. So good luck, bud. Thanks. Yep. Right, I think I put him in the right room. Was he down there with BK and Robert? I don't remember. Well, if he wasn't, well, sorry. <laughs> 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 I have to get you a, a dry erase board so you write down what room numbers they're in. Right. Yeah. I mean, I got a notepad here, but, you know. Uh, oh. Yeah, good idea. <laughs> All right, 18 people now watching. A big shout out to, of course, Stevens family out there watching it on the big screen. So, yep, my my nephew Dylan, his girlfriend Taylor, watching it uh, in the living room. Guys, hope you guys enjoy it. I can already hear them hooping and hollering. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well they're getting lined up here. Looks like Rick Seabrand's gonna have to. Oh, he almost come down on the 44 there. But everybody's getting back in line and side by side. Pace car will dive off again to the safety of pit road. Everybody is still out on the racetrack. So nobody has called it a night. <laughs> Matt says, <laughs> notepad saying, don't talk to Matt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. Well, I'll tell you this, Matt, next time I'll interview you, that way you don't get that medlock juju. Nope, he's going to get the lane juju. <laughs> All right, well, here we go. Pace car is off and away once again. And Green back out. They do got to wait on Green here at OP. Cody on the loud pedal. Vicente to his inside. Dave Hunt, Joey Beck, Dana Shepard, John, David Springle, Eric Nada, Jimmy Riddles, and Christopher Jordan. Rounding out the top 10 here at the start, the 519 of John better stay on the track here because with these bubs, you do not want to get on that apron at no. all. Uh, one, one of two things will happen. It'll, either it will send you down or it will send you up. <laughs> so, Actually, it'll send you around. Or that too. <laughs> hey, we got Bubba in chat. He said he had a family get together today, so no racing for him, but... Glad to have uh, glad to have Bubba watching yeah. and in chat tonight. Yep. 
Shout out to Bubba's family out there too for hopefully you yep. know, tuning in or you know just getting together for Easter again. Oh, big huge oh, wiggle there by the 53 of Dave Hunt, and it stacked them up back here. That outside line, Dana Shepard, Derek Donna, uh, who is behind them? The 78 of Christopher Jordan. That outside line just lost it. I mean. It couldn't go any further. <laughs> well, if you're if you're getting pushed or in the draft on that outside line, it it will kind of suck you up towards that wall. Yeah. And that's the thing with this track. It looks like the 43 and 215 and company are coming back up. You know, they don't want to get too far back. They'll lose the draft. Then they'll have to find a hole on the inside. And it's not easy getting down there on the inside doing 290, 290, oh, 290. Excuse yeah, me. Okay. What kind of cars were you watching? <laughs> 190, 195 miles an hour. So, uh, yeah, 290. Yeah, I think we might be in a little bit of trouble if we're doing that fast. <laughs> you pin, pin that link to the top, please. Uh, yeah, I can do that. Let's see here, if it'll let me, it's that heart symbol thing he's in the way. <laughs> How do I get rid of that? I don't uh, know. Mine's at the bottom. We'll have to. I'll have to send y'all. Do, do y'all have a uh, U-block? Oh, we got a wreck. Oh, we got a wreck. It's it's oh, yeah, it wreck. oh, no. I ain't going to be okay. worried about that pennant right yep. now. Yeah, let's not worry oh, about that. Oh, no. That was a big one. Dave Hunt's car is destroyed, and it took me back to Matt Wagner. <laughs> wow. Is that a coincidence? Or I <laughs> don't know, but we got to have to find where, oh, my God. Yeah, it, yeah, it, that was bad. That, did you see that, Stephen? I did. Yeah, it looks like they were coming up on. Oh. What? He went up the wall. Yeah, yeah, it looks like here are the 18, the 14, and the 519. Boy, they were door banging up here. Uh, the 18 and 14, they took a little trip. Yeah, door bang, door bang. <laughs> and that gets the 519 loose. 18 goes up wow. the track into the 14, and it was Calamity Jane from there. Man, oh, yep. man. Dave Hunt. See, Data Shepard going to get involved in this as well. Uh, Derek Donna somehow squeezed through that. Uh, the one... Of, don't get me to line, <laughs> is the one. Uh, David Stringle. Oh, yeah. so the seven, 794, yeah. Oh, Vizente hit that outside wall and just went straight up. Yeah. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Let's go back up here and, yeah, Cody. Who's a 794? 794. That's what it looked like. 794 is the 18, supposed to be the 18 of Joey Beck. Yeah. Uh, we're still on a Max Speed TV rewind here, folks. So give us just a second. Yeah, man, it was. Yeah. Yeah, man, the 14. Yeah, he went up the wall right there, and there, there was nothing he could do. Uh, I mean, several cars are destroyed here tonight, unfortunately. Zente being one of them, it looks like Dana Shepard has already taken his car behind the wall. Wow. And there oh. goes my pick. So just by, I'm back here looking oh. at the replay, guys. The 794, before the, before the turn started to come up, Vicente was running that midline. Yeah. And he just come up, he dropped down, he come up again. I mean, it was just... Okay, there's where Matt Man. Wagner got hit. He got tagged by the triple seven. That's why it took me to Matt Wagner. All right. Oh, okay. Golly, that that was a big one. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that was. I'm not going to speculate on anything, but I, uh, I'm sure the admins are going to look at that. Yeah, yeah, let's see here what we got. Now I can pin that since Ginger Parent uh, popped in chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, pin message. There is the Max B TV Discord, y'all. If y'all want to join Discord, of course, uh, y'all's welcome to it. Uh, looks like, yeah, Dana Shepard. I think Dana might have had to tow. Yeah, I believe so. 
and he is on pit road. Uh, probably a reset going to be used because he does have one. David Stringle. Dana Shepard, he, he's back, but he lost connection uh, due to upload packet loss. Oh, he's having no. Internet issues. Is not what we want. No. All right. Well, uh, looks like the lights are off, so no interview this time around, but we have a new leader. We call him John because we just cannot pronounce his name, or I can't anyway. Uh, started ninth up at the top spot. He's led three laps right now. He does have the Riddles wrapped 26 of Hunter Riddles on the outside. Christopher Jordan, Gary Bergeron, Derek Dada. I don't know how in the world Derek Dada got through that. I really don't. I have no idea. Um, uh, but, Stephen Lane magic, I guess, because uh, yeah, uh, you picked him. So <laughs> I picked him. But actually, it's uh, it's Joao Guerrero. Joao. Okay. Well, no, just, Joao Guerrero. Just, just stick him with John, folks. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Stick him with John. What we're going to do. All right. So, Jimmy Riddles right there. Kenneth Bishop, Dave Hunt, San, Richard Sanchez. That is the top ten here on the back stretch. Like some drivers did come down pit road. Looks like Dana Shepard is back. But he is going to have to come down pit road here. He's going to have to get that fast repair quick. Get back out onto the racetrack. And they're coming into three right now. So he's going to have to make it quick. I don't think there's going to be enough time, unfor unfortunately. Oh, and then he had to back up as well. Ouch. Hmm. I got the heat. I've, had, I've done that a few times, just coming too hot and just overshoot your pit box. Yeah. I've done that. I've, I've <laughs> accidentally drove through my pit box and been like, I ain't backing up. I'll just go around the track again. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Now, here we go. Ace car with I'm off once more. Coming to lap number 19, 519 up at the top here. We're just going to call him John. And Green is back out. There's a gap between 519, 78, 78, and 215. But good Lord, you look back here at Jimmy in the other. Ooh, 215 with a wiggle. We got two Reynolds wrap machines. Oh, gosh. Yep. I didn't even realize the 17 was in a riddle draft. I didn't either. Maybe he can use some of that wrap on the other cars. All right. Well, here we go. I'm not going to mention his name, but he is right up on the outside there in the peak car. I had to kind of move up here. See right there? Yep. Yep. Not going not gonna to say his name because I know what's going to happen. <laughs> he, he just dropped it down in front of the one. <laughs> uh, Stephen, Bob, if y'all have a U-Block Origin ad blocker, uh, you can go to uh, U-Block settings and go to My Filters, and I will send y'all this code to put it into My Filters and block that. That those little heart icon things. That yeah. little heart thing. Okay. Now, uh, it's, a good, it's a good idea. Like, I like the... I like that they have it on here, but as a broadcaster and I need to pin something or I need to do something, it's kind of in my way. So, yeah. you know, I, I love I love hitting it, though. I love giving myself a hundreds and, and hearts, and, you know, it makes me feel good, you know. <laughs> Gosh. I can even know. Uh, even... Whoa! 78 with a wiggle. Christopher Gosh. Jordan. Now, I talked about Christopher earlier, guys. Look where he's sitting at. I know it's early, but, man, he said right here that four spot. Consistency. That's all he has to be is consistent. Hang on, that in, that in top row. All right, and he still has that. You know what left? So that is that's good for him. Yep. It's always nice to be able to go through the race without using that too. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. So, and you know, it is so oh. difficult, Stephen and Bub, to go on these races like this. Oh my golly! Here we go. Three wide oh, up top. Up front. Oh, 519. Oh, 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 no. He, oh. Did he you? Oh, my oh, God. Oh, wow. We That's have a, big, a 
parking a lot here, folks. Wow. Bring out the red flag. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. All I heard in uh, driver chat was Arca. <laughs> that, oh. that, that's the biggest wreck that I have ever seen on All iRacing. Right. Now, I was going to say the 519 is in the sucker hole. And well, I think I think he didn't want to be there, and he yeah. tried to break and maybe break too hard. Uh, we'll, we'll watch it. We'll watch it. You see, we got the three wide situation going on. And Man. all the, of a sudden, wait, he, yeah, he broke he too locked, hard. Yep, yeah, he did. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Joel is done. Yeah, he, he just broke a little bit too hard. You'll see a wiggle here coming up. You know, being in the middle and then doing this breaking too, guys, uh, I mean, it just – yeah, right oh there. I mean, you could just see how quick he goes back, and there was nothing these guys could do. I no. mean, absolutely nothing. And I know he probably feels horrible. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah, surely he didn't do that on purpose. About what happened. Yeah, I mean, 12, uh, the 06, 55. Might be easier to go through on who was not involved. Probably yeah. everybody from here up. <laughs> Was not involved, and I hate laughing about it because it is not funny. But jolly, you, and Matt Wagner was even involved in this. Man, now I'm gonna say his name. Yeah. Jeez. I mean, and they were still wrecking. I mean, Cody Nagel's gonna get involved in that again. Keegan Sabilo. Mark Man got a little piece. It looks like Adam Kilday. Oh my gosh. There was a lot of them, man. You know, and even being out on the track, guys, I, I've i seen my share, been involved in my share, yep. but nothing, nothing like this. All right. Looks like Joe Amato out there, parking lot party is what he said. He got uh, said, get the... Get, get the Wobble Pops ready for by the <laughs> Infield Care Center. Uh, Ginger Parrot's going to do uh, some barbecuing on the grass. Three wide on lap 21 at Buffy Daytona on a Saturday night is instant disaster, Bubba's saying. <laughs> well, I, I, like I said, I don't think he meant to do that that hard, but I, and that's just the product of hitting the brake a little bit too hard, getting loose, and then, I mean, blam. I... I did not foresee that coming. I don't think anybody did, to be honest. No. Man. Okay, I'll do it later. Looks like Joey Beck is out. Uh, he is on pit road here. John on pit road he has a fast repair though or did he just take his car fully behind the wall i think he did joey beck is on pit road man guys man oh man all right well let's get back up here lights are off now looks like my brother is muted Obenham, Lynn McNee, some drivers here, Steven. They are down pit road, probably getting that splash of fuel. You know how important that fuel is. There he is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Had to step away for a second. So. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to do the same thing. Coffee. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah, we don't need details. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, the 215 of Derek Donna up top side here. Hunter Reynolds leading the way. Christopher Jordan, Dustin, Dustin Logston, Eric Donna, <laughs> Kenneth Bishop, Dave Hunt, Richard Sanchez, Jimmy Riddles, Nathan Warren, Gary Bergeron, Andrew Maletta, Anthony English, Bo Bedham, Sean Stevens, and Robert Edgerton rounding out our top 15. It looks like Robert probably will have to slow down here and maybe let some drivers by. I know he's on the outside. No, he, so. I've got him in 13th. Yeah. Yeah, that's, or 12. Yeah, I think that's where he's at. So, so Bubba, Bubba said even back in the day, the Winston Cup drivers didn't even like to go three wide at this track. 
Wow. And even now, Bubba, I would have to agree. Even on New Daytona, uh, I don't like going three wide on this track. Yeah. Well, the New it's, Daytona is a little bit easier. Not not it, much. It, not much. It, it, yeah, it is yeah. easier. But, man, it, you, there's no room for error at all. I mean, one little wiggle wobble, you're you're done. Well, we're about we're about a quarter of the way done. So, I still my traded paints is still not working right. Oh man, I might have to get with you on that, Stephen, and see you know what we can do to fix that. Of course, everybody will be off tomorrow and Monday. We'll be back Tuesday now for Graceland, but we'll get more on that here later on into the race. Pace cars off the way again, guys. So here we go. Hunter Reynolds lead the way. Green is out. The 81 of Dustin gave him a shove, and that shove at the start helps. He helps you to go. But then again, it can hurt at the same time if you're not careful. My buddy Lynn's out there. Oh, right, here we go. Three wide. Dave oh, Ryan God. wasting no time. And Derek Dodd is like, okay, I'll just ride the wall. Man, Dave, what are you doing? <laughs> Man, he is, he is gutting it up there. <laughs> yeah, he's like, all right, y'all ain't, you guys ain't going. I'm going. <laughs> yeah, I'm no, I know Dave. I know Dave from another league. So, and he is, man, he gone. And here comes the one. Uh, that is going to be the, well, the one on the car is supposed to be the 10. Gary Bergeron right there. See, I'm having hiccups here too. So, and the uh, 21 is supposed to be the 12. We'll just say he flipped the number there at the Buckies. Yeah. Uh, Andrew Maletta, on at 18th. He has cracked at the top six. And the 81 of Dustin, though, it had to back down a little bit. 15, I guess it's now, 53 now is on his bumper. 49 of Kenneth trying to get some air, and I think he went just a little bit too high. Now he's gonna go to the outside. That's the thing, if you leave if you leave a certain amount of room getting the air, you're just gonna have to, you know, be patient, go up kind of like what Kenneth did, and, you know, see if you can get back up front. Right. Yeah, no, getting, getting, Getting some help to get up there don't hurt either. No. Uh, going back here, let's see, Adam Kilday, Nathan Warren, Mark, man, this is where there's some single file action. Double file back here, Adam Green, Bazente, Rick Seabrands, and I believe that is the uh, 993 of BK Anderson. Oh. Every time you say BK, I think you're saying PK from oh. another league. No, well, no, Paul, <laughs> Paul don't race over here, but BK, no. BK can have it his way. Yeah. And he will have it. Yep. I'm just going to call him Burger King. <laughs> Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how old BK would like that, but, you know, oh. BK's no, a good guy, though. BK Anderson, yep. yep. Yeah, he's All a right. good guy. I, I, know, I know everybody pretty much out here, so... I don't. <laughs> yep. There we go. I think I got it fixed now, boys. All right. Hopefully. Uh, now you can see all the Reynolds wrap paints. Well, we got two yeah. of them. Yeah, they're 26 and 17. Gonna, yeah, I think they're going to need, I think everybody's going to need some Reynolds wrap after they get done with this race yeah, tonight. Yeah, there's been quite a few that used it faster there already, so. Yep. Charles Sanchez out there. Yeah, look at that five Chevy Lynn. Yeah, I know, right? Now the five car though, uh, let me see, there he is. There is Richard right there, the Chevy Land. And then of course, uh, I know somebody else out here, I think that's running the Chevy Land too. Or was that you Bubba that ran that? Oh, I'm, that I think ran. that was Bubba. Yeah, I think he ran that. And I think I think Richard's running it for him, I believe. When you say Bubba, I think you're talking to me. No, Bubba winning it. <laughs> yeah, I tell you, it's confused me. Hush, Stephen, don't need your input about me being confused. <laughs> I'm sorry, much. did you say something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Don't need, your, <laughs> don't need your input. <laughs> that is right. It doesn't take much for me. Uh, that, I was just fixing to say, Quarrel. <laughs> <laughs> Right, man, a good gap.
laps going on. Everybody getting plenty of air, except for, I believe, maybe Hunter Reddle. Boy, is all over the tail of the 49. And the 53 is right on the back of the 81 of Dustin. Dustin still looking to lead a lap here. Whoa! Oh, my goodness. Wiggle by the 26. I think he was trying to offer some riddles wrap to somebody. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Hunter. <laughs> I that should be rap. saying that because uh, Jimmy Riddles actually owns OP, so you know, I'm picking oh. his son, so you know. Oh, okay. Uh, but I think, well, it's Jimmy and a few other guys. I know that. Okay. Hey, you keep following, they're not going to ask you to broadcast next season. <laughs> Probably. Uh, I don't believe know. Joel is out. John's yeah. out. Yeah, John, yeah, he's done. Yeah, John is he, out. He, I, I think he, he feels bad about what happened. You know. Yeah, he left. He left right after yeah. that wreck, and I, and we all know it's not on purpose. So, John, if you're listening, man, <laughs> things happen. Yep. I mean, yeah, you know, uh, you set your brake bias, you know, too strong or too light. And man, it can definitely upset that car. Now here, you really don't need much brake unless you're braking for a wreck. And you know, other than that, it's pretty much gas all the way. I mean, unless you're lifting a little bit into the quarters, which you do here. Uh, but you, you know, it's and I and I feel bad for him too because he was having such a good run, guys. Do we? Problems over, Stephen. Well, Lynn Combs is that who he is talking to? Talking about yeah, that, yeah, that's my Kentucky buddy. Oh golly, here we go with the Wildcats. <laughs> I am looking at ATBO. Either it's messed up, but I've got a lot of drivers that's not even showing up on the track right now. Oh, we have to set that. Yeah, uh, in I racing uh, under the options, you probably need to set show. 64 or something like that. I don't know because it'll do it on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I had that problem as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, I'll have to get with you on that because, you know, the more drivers you got, if you don't have a set right, it won't show a certain amount of drivers. Then you got to click on them and then it blacks out more drivers. So, yeah. 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 So we'll have to fix that for you when I have to fix it every time uh, iRacing does an update. Thank you, iRacing, for that, by the way. Um, of course, a great platform. They're always working out the kinks and stuff. We are officially uh, over the quarter of the way of Mark, lap 33 here tonight. And uh, they should be coming up on about, yep, la uh, about 10 laps on this run, guys. So here in about five laps or so, they would, uh, if we can stay green, then, uh, you know, green flag pit stop. So, you know, we, we love to see it, but it seems like every time they get you know, close to it, something happens. I think that's a combination of the tires and the fuel fall off. Where did you say that option was, though? Uh, uh, F12. No, no. no. Oh, the one in I racing. Yeah, oh, where, where you show more, there more cars. Where you show more cars. Yeah, you go under options under. Yeah. Uh, graphic oh, okay and then under performance tab you go down to max cars and just click on draw all cars yeah it'll draw all the cars today tvo's comic screen as well so oh, okay yeah. draw yeah. draw 40 draw six. yeah both of them are checked yeah. all right well it looks like from presente on back here single file these guys kind of playing it a little smart Joey Beck lead the way here with the 993 of BK, Cody Nagels. Let's see, there's the 11, not going to mention his name. And Andrew Zonto, man, the 11's got, man, some major rear end damage. But back up front here, a lot of side-by-side -side going on, a lot of action. I mean, side-by-side it, it, -side here in the old Daytona is a lot of action because of these bumps. I think we're going to ride along here maybe with, oh, let's go with Andrew Maletta here tonight. And we will find a cockpit. Where are you at? Uh-oh, there 
Davis. All right, we'll just take a look here down into turn one here. He's on the low side and uh, yeah. uh, you guys have to excuse Josh. He's only been talking for about two years. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, these bobs, man, they are rough. Somebody's going down pit road. All right. Robert Edgerton's just now coming out. So. Oh, is, okay, maybe that's who I saw then. Robert Edgerton, yeah, he's just coming back out. He was on pit road in his box for six, almost six and a half seconds. Or, yeah, or six and a half minutes, my bad. Six and a half seconds. Yeah, six and a half seconds, right? Yeah, that's a hell of, he heck of a, uh, excuse me, sorry about that. <laughs> heck of a, heck of a pit crew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry about that. It's all right. I didn't mean to do that. It's all right. Oh, we got it. Oh, loose. Oh, Anthony, Anthony's Anthony. 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 Yeah, he got down on that uh, oh, he saved it. apron. Yeah, good save there. 44 of Anthony English. Green flag. We uh, Green See, flag. Told you. Rewind here. Golly, man. I'm still over here laughing at Steven's bleep. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, right there. He just got a little loosey-goosey. And, man, right up in front of the 27 there. Oh, yeah. He, yeah, he yeah, just about caught it. That was a good save. Yes, that it. was a great save. Yes, it was. All right. Back up live here, folks. Man. Tender. <laughs> yeah. uh, Bob Lynn, 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 here I go, I can't talk. Lynn wants to know how long the pit stops. Uh, how long the pit stops? Well, they are on lap number 15 right now, so the window's open. Uh, anywhere between 15 to question mark. 15 to question mark. Yep. I, I would assume 15 to, uh, anywhere between 15 to 20, and now with it being still early, now, later on in the race, if the cautions do play a factor, I mean, they could go 20, 25 laps. I've seen them even, I think Stevens even seen them like 28 laps. But that's in the draft. That's safe. That's in the draft. And, uh, yeah. I mean, you're, you're just you're shutting the engine off every time you can and uh, getting that fuel. But they are within those pit stops now, so, or pit window. I wish I could drive down the interstate at 75 miles an hour and shut my uh, engine off to save gas. <laughs> Man. <laughs> well, they do it on the. They do it under caution. They don't. They don't do it. You know. All right. Speaking of that, I got I got pulled over last night coming back home from Van Beer. Oh jeez. Yeah, the uh, the cop. He's really nice. He didn't even check my driver's license or anything. He said that uh, the uh, reflection sticker was peeling off the uh, uh, license plate. So, so I think we're going to have to get a new plate. He didn't, give, he didn't give me a ticket or anything. I said he didn't even ask for my driver's license. At the state of Arkansas for you folks. They'll pull you over for anything. They'll pull you over just to pull you over. The end of the month. I mean, I know they have a quarter to meet, so he might have, I don't know. All right, Matt Wagner. Oh, I said his name. Oops. No. <laughs> Coming up on some lap yeah, track. I think, yeah, I think he just came. Yeah, whoa, he was trying to come down Pitt Road, I guess. And did he miss it? I guess he did or something because uh, he does he doesn't even have a stop and yeah something was going on with wow. the eleven. However, however, no yellow. He wasn't involved in anything, so we're good. But I unfortunately I mentioned his name out here tonight, so now he's gonna probably kill me for it. But twenty four of you out there right now, one more like we'll hit ten likes, can we hit twenty five likes? Twenty to twenty five likes, we would appreciate it. Right, Derek Donna, Jimmy Riddles, Adam Green. You can start seeing them trying to find a hole there on the inside line. Some drivers will let drivers in, others won't. You know, some of them are stingy. Some <laughs> 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 hey, stingy. Hey, I mean, come on. Hey, you know, sometimes you got to be, guys. Yeah. I mean, you, you can only give so much and not get anything in, in yeah. favors in return. So. Yeah. Look at 12 and 17. Got a bit close. Behind the five and mm -hmm. right up ahead of Gary here, so they're all starting to get single foul up front. Yeah, yeah, they're fixing the pit, but they're fixing the do. And it doesn't look like this time by. I did see a little wiggle from the 215. Uh, all right, slot. Ginger, you need to tell Derek to stay off that apron. Yeah, right. 
Looks like Stuart Broderick down pit road. Yep. BK on pit road. Andrew Zonto on pit road. Pit road, folks. It's going to start getting busy here. And it doesn't look like there are anybody's. Well, let's see no, here. I'm waiting for that those top drivers right now. Done. All right, well, let's see here. Down into three, the middle of three, coming out of turn number four. Here we go. Yep, there they go. Oh, this is going to be a big one, folks. A lot of drivers coming down. A lot Locking of drivers. Oh, oh, the 215. Oh, somebody's under the wall. That is Derek Donna, I believe. And Stephen Jinkston. Oh, I uh, no. <laughs> All right, well, let's see here. Oh, yeah, he come down a little bit too hot, I think, and uh, we're going to have to probably get a chase view of this. Yep. And Oh, I think it was trying to check up for the what happened up ahead of oh. him. Yep. And, oh, no. Yep. Yeah, and then it, unfortunately, yeah, he was in a turn and right in front of the triple seven. Oh, no, the 85 going to get a piece too. Wow. <laughs> Derek used his fast repair. Oh, he had no choice. Yeah, he had pieces. Yeah. Yeah, he oh, had, man. He had, he had pieces going everywhere. Joey Beck is done. Yeah, yeah. All right. The second group down English, Sanchez, Guerrero, Stevens, Mann, McNeese, Wing, DeBoer, uh, uh, Lynn, I think, and Bo. Right. Well, Hunter Reynolds here has Hunter. Pitt. Yeah, yeah. This group, everybody. Well, everybody's on pit road now. I mean, yep. Hunter Reynolds is uh, leading now, with, or not leading yet, but he is leading this. The first group that came down, I should say. And everybody resets to zero. That just confirmed what we were talking about. I just heard one of the drivers said, "I'm sorry, everybody just checked up and mm. coming into pit." So. Yep. It happens. I mean, when you're when you get this many cars and they're all trying to pit at the same time, it, it's yeah, going to happen. It, yeah, there's a bunch of cars. Yes. Just, yeah. At least there's uh, just not many cars on these short tracks like Bristol. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine 35 drivers out there on Bristol? I've seen, oh, I've seen it. Have you really? I've seen it. I think oh my the God. highest I called on a Bristol race was 42. My God. Yeah. Oh, what, not, what all of, not all of not all of finished. I, I guarantee you, I, I, yeah. I can promise oh, you no. that. Oh, <laughs> no. Andrew Millet said his car just blew up on him. Uh -oh. oh, no. Yeah, he's done, too. Yeah, was he on... I think he was on pit road, too, wasn't he? When it blew up? Hey, right here, I got... Oh. Man, my, my brain ain't working. I thought they were under caution. No, I'm no, on no, green. No, no, no. They're green. They're green. green, like, green like oh, pit. he come back up on the track oh. out of pit. And it popped. Oh, did he miss yep. shift? I don't know if he miss shift oh, or not, man. but, man, something definitely happened. Yeah, it, 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 it blew it up. I... I've got to say this because it just come to mind, my random brain thoughts. Uh, Steven, whenever you drive your uh, Navy car, if you blow a motor, I'm going to call you a Navy midshipman. <laughs> I don't drive a Navy car. I'm just, or, I'm, he drives an Army car. Army? Oh, okay. that, that would be my brother, sorry. If that you would ever be, drive, I should yeah. say, hey, don't insult me like that. <laughs> <laughs> I get y'all confused. Yeah, but if you ever drive a uh, Navy car and you blow a motor, I'm going to call you a Navy midshipman. <laughs> But maybe miss shipment. Maybe there you go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You just say I tanked it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get I get y'all mixed up. Andrew missed the shift. Ouch. Yeah. Hey bud, don't feel bad. I've done that before too. I mean I'd be getting ready to come down pit road at a track like this. I mean a lot of single file right now. We got some double file, so I'm gonna go ahead and say it. And I'll be ready to come down pit road and I'll accidentally double downshift. Oh, and mm. yeah, it's not good nope. when the button stick. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, that's the thing. I don't know if I can race because I cannot drive a, I cannot drive a manual trans, manual transmission. But I can't can, do it. But you can do an eighteen wheeler. So, but I but I can do a ten speed eighteen wheeler. Yeah. Well, 
most most of the wheels that come out have paddle shifters and that's yeah. that's a lot easier than and doing the whole doing an uh, h shift yeah. yeah yeah those h shifters man they're nice don't get me wrong but and pick up eight, that number 18 car's front bumper number 18 no, I'm sorry, 80, 81, 81, 81. That's Dustin. Yeah, get, uh, let's go to a chase view here. Uh, I think it's look. It looked no, it wasn't. It looked like it was a uh, wiggling or something. I thought it was like loose. <laughs> he had a floppy bottom lip. <laughs> yeah, that's what I. That's what I was seeing. So. No, that's that's okay. So if you look at that, look and see that. That's yeah. the bumps in Daytona. That yeah. is what oh, okay. we're dealing with. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Bobblehead Daytona. Here we yeah. go. Christopher oh, Jordan taking over the lead with the help of Jimmy Reynolds. Hunter yeah, Reynolds on the inside. Wow. Yeah, we, yeah, we got the Reynolds uh, family up front. Yep. Christopher Jordan trying here. Oh, guys, we are lap, up to lap 49. Yeah. Lap wow. 49. And only well, three cautions. Okay, it doesn't yep. seem like it. Yeah, right there is the caution count number. Three cautions for eight laps. 52 laps to go. Still a lot of laps left. Oh, yeah. And yeah, 51 12, laps left. 12 lead changes. And I think that lead change is going to go up. Definitely. I mean, especially if the 26 and the 78 keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You know, uh, uh, they're, they're being slinkies, you know. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> We just start calling them reruns. <laughs> reruns. Rerun. Man. Ow. Hurt myself with my lottery. What'd you do? Trying to smoke your finger? Uh, <laughs> I was trying to close it. It's a zip. <laughs> it's a zip boat. I was trying to close the lid. Missed the lid. We're right on top of the flame. Oh, man. I got one of those, too. It's a United States Navy look. I've had it for a while. A lot of... I'm I'm going to have to make myself a note. Stephen, Army, Bub, Navy. <laughs> All right, Anthony English in that eight spot. Started second, but, you know, he's found the top ten again. Rick Seabrand started in 25th. Oh. He is in 10th. I got the triple seven blinking out. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. That ain't good. Triple uh, seven, that is going to be... Adam Green. Adam Green. Yeah, Alex A here tonight. Wow. Where is that triple seven at anyway? He is back here. Oh, there it is. Fifth. He is the first driver a lap down. He is up here with the leaders. Mm. And it looks like Jimmy Riddles has led his first lap of the race, holding off. Oh, Christopher! Oh, my God. Christopher! Oh, no. oh this is going to oh. stack him up. He's trying to save it. Oh, save yeah. it, save it, save it. Oh, and he is. Gonna save it, sort of, but man, he is gonna lose a ton of spots all the way back. Oh, oh yeah. boy, he's getting a bump. Oh man, yeah, three wide. Boy, that was close. He's dropping way yeah. back now, all the way back in 20 second Now, that just that is how quickly you can go backwards. Jimmy Reynolds now getting the help of a Dustin Logston. Not Longston, Longston. Okay. I should call him Longston from here on out. But over the halfway mark, folks, lap 52 here tonight. I think it's about that time we do. You know what, Bub, turn it down. I know you yep, going to. Yeah, you don't do it. Nope. But, folks, I think you know what we do here on Max Speed TV. If we got to crack it up here tonight. Not backwards. Let's get loud. Yeah, well, I'm going to have to, unfortunately. Uh, you got to change your camera view. I know that. <laughs> but if I. It looked like it went upside down. <laughs> I'm gonna, it did. I am going to have to, unfortunately, go into the option tier. Back. Yes. Uh, graphics. Nope. You're looking. Folks, you're looking at some behind the scenes stuff. <laughs> Uh, well, where'd it go? The camera. Where is my camera? Oh, okay. All right, hang on, folks, while we fix this. 
little bit of oh. uh, behind the scenes stuff here. While oh, he wasn't upside down. He was under the track. Yeah, it's oh, under, yeah, oh, wow. it's under the track. Yeah, this is set for the new Daytona, not the old one. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we're still live. We're still live. We're still here. We're still here. We're not going anywhere. All right, I think we got. All righty, folks. Well, let's go ahead and do it. <laughs> go ahead and do it. Okay. Well, nope, can't do it. What in the world? Yeah. Some of it got fixed, some of it didn't. I keep forgetting this, uh, this track here. All right, now let's there we go, go ahead and try it here. I think we have got it fixed. What lap are we on? All right, we can do a crank it up here for a couple of laps more. Let's do it, folks. Let's crank it up. Alrighty, folks, we are back. A little bit of hiccup there with the cameras, but I think one is the only one that's messed up here. Now, they're going to be coming up on another round of pit stops here pretty quickly. But Jimmy Reynolds still lead the way out here tonight. Seven laps now under his belt. Dustin still behind him. Dave behind Kenneth. Hunter Reynolds. Anthony English, the five of Richard Sanchez. See Gary, Vicente, Sean, Lynn McNeese. You got that side-by-side -side going on back here with Gary Bergeron, Cody Nagels. I think Cody is a lap down. Yes, he is, as yeah. well as David Stringle in mm -hmm. the one. So, a couple of drivers a lap down, but still, you know, we we can, you know, make it. You know, they, they can't get back on the lead lap. That is not going to be – out of yeah. the realm of possibilities, I, I will say that. <laughs> yeah, we got four drivers in the playoffs that are a lap down right now. So, yes, Brian. Yep, it's the three Musketeers out here, the three amigos yep. uh, up here the in three, the booth. The three nutty broadcasters. Yep. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> I'm completely sane. You're completely sane. He forgot the end part in front of sane, by the way. Oh, I, for, I knew I was forgetting something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got to forgive me, guys. I'm old. I forget things. Well, how old are you? About 55 now? I'm getting close. You can be climbing this season with you. Hey, we're talking about age and stuff here. I'm, I got three more years before I'm 40. Ugh. Yeah. I, like I will it. be 49 on Thursday. Well, happy early birthday! Yeah, yeah, we're gonna yeah. have to, we're gonna have to uh, sing happy birthday here tonight for him. No, we gotta race on oh, Thursday night, don't we? Yeah. Please, please don't sing to me. <laughs> Ooh, I mean, my, oh my, God. my my ears hurt bad enough. I don't need them bleeding. <laughs> you just you just hop into the downforce uh, chat on Thursday night. We'll we'll sing to you. Oh, he'll be there. I'll be there. I'll be racing. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, they finally did that. Uh, yeah, they yeah. did accept it. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Dustin Logston, man, pushing the daylights out of the 17. You see that 26 out there on the outside? Yeah, yeah I do. Yeah, he's coming, too. Uh, he's got Gary, I believe, behind him. Yeah, I get confused. 
I think with the one on the car, I, I want to put uh, David Stringle in that car, but, you know, it's not David. David, unfortunately, like I said, is a lap down, but oh, we're setting that. Oh, we got Stuart Broderick coming out pit road. Wow, that is going to be, yeah, they are within the window, but he came yep. down by himself. That's not a good. That's not good unless something's wrong. Uh, no, yeah, yeah. He came down, I think, by himself because well, BK might have came down. Uh, BK was already down pit road. Wow, yeah, he came down by himself. Oh, wow. That is not a. You know, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but it's a bad thing. Derek Dada down pit road. Christopher Jordan down pit road. Matt Wagner down pit road. Now, I somebody was off on the apron, or are they coming down pit road? Uh, I think it's uh, the number six. Uh, that's Cody. Is that Cody, I think he uh, is he coming. Yeah, he's coming down pit road. Cody's down pit road. Looks like uh, the lap cars are coming. That's down. the one I was. Uh, yeah, yeah. Cody was coming. Okay, I just seen a car dive down. I didn't catch which one it was. Yeah, it looks like the lap cars or some of the lap cars came down pit road here. Now they won't stay on pit road long. Uh, I think we're fixing uh, to start seeing a bunch of them come in because yeah, I just overheard on the. We Driver chat the pitting. Yeah, wing of DeBoer's down as well. So three wide as they're coming around Stuart Broderick here. Yep. That could be disastrous. But looks like they held it. And here we go. Out of turn number four. Yep, this is going to be a big group again. Well, don't think it's going to be as big as the last one, but it's still big enough. And Ooh. these go. Oh, yeah, you seen that too, didn't you? <laughs> I did. Jimmy Reynolds, Dustin Logston almost got into one another. Got Dave Hunt, Kenneth Bishop, Larry Eddy, the Dana yeah, Shepard. Man, and yeah, we got a bunch. Kill Day, Warren, Bo Benham, they're down. Man, pit road starting to light up here, folks. Yeah, those are, those Reynolds wrap cars have to go down there and get another load of uh, aluminum foil. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, man. Any cars? Do what? Um, oh, golly, Andrew out there drinking my mischief sorrows away. <laughs> oh, oh, man, Andrew. <laughs> well, I have been sober for over a year, and my, I'm on day 37 my today. My brother so. is doing a great job on his. Yep. So, yep, I got my one month chip on Thursday night. Yep. So, Gary Bergeron down, Vicente down, Lynn McNeese down, Pitt Road. Looks like Strangle Green is also on pit road. Not to interrupt what my brother was saying there, but, oh, no, it's fine. you it's know, cool. hey, we're doing great. You do your thing, buddy. Uh, Joe Amato out there says two big ones earlier, Brian. Yeah, we've had we've had our uh, big ones out here tonight, three in total. And right now we're under another round of green flag pit stops. It does look like we're going to have some more come down now. Yep. Anthony English, Sanchez, Seabrands, John Stevens, Mark Mann. And it looks like Gary and company is just coming back out now. Derek Donna is still in his pit box here, guys. Oh, wow. Uh, he does not have a fast repair, and he's got a lot of damage on that car. My phone is going off like it's a l good lord. Who's blowing up your phone? I don't know. Oh man! Oh, it's your weather authority team. It's about oh, talking about it's... our severe weather yeah. potential come Monday, man. Yeah, yeah. They said it might get pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. yeah always... They always say that, too. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah if y'all's going to see bowling ball hell, and all you get is pieces. I don't want bowling ball to begin with, guys. Oh, but, me you either, know, No. That can go through roofs. <laughs> yeah, no, you wouldn't no. even be safe under the house. No, no <laughs> that is not something I don't think anybody uh, wants Derek's, to Derek's see. moving again. Oh, okay, good. You're right. Manchez, here we go, man. They are flying. These guys are up to speed. Hunter Reynolds, Dustin, uh, the 49 of Kenneth Bishop. They just dropped it in front of Richard Sanchez. Anthony English. It's like Dave Hunt and company's coming too. That is the double. Said that is the 77 
Uh, it's supposed to be the 077. That is Keegan Sabilo. We haven't talked much about Keegan. He's not, not had a very good night here tonight. He's two laps down. Darty used his fast repair, and I think he was involved in both of those big ones here tonight. So I think Keegan, guys, he just tried to survive the rest of the race here. Yeah. Yeah. I think everybody's trying to survive this one. <laughs> Mr. Pimp Box, I believe Anthony English did. I don't think he stopped. Can you check ATVO on your end, bub, and see if uh, Anthony English... Uh, He's in eighth place. I understand that, but his box says... Uh-oh. We got Lynn McNeese also back down pit road. Anyway, uh, Anthony English... I am showing when he pitted that he did not stop in his box. Uh, 29... 8.3 seconds. Okay, so it didn't grab on my end then. I've got a 29.8 on the lane, pit lane. Yep. But... Yep. All right. 8.2 on the box. All right, so he yep. did pit. My ATVO doing all wonky here tonight. But we've been he probably wonky. grabbed fuel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'd... We've been wonky all night as it is, so. Mm -hmm. It's Saturday night. Yep. What do you expect? 21 drivers on the lead lap. Christopher Jordan. Oh, somebody's blinking out. Oh, Matt just went by. That, that was. Uh, oh, man, yep. Uh, Matt Wagner just went poof. Oh, he manually, he manually left. He's oh, done. Okay, so he might have done that whole Alt F4 thing. Ooh, yeah. Please watch the language there, Brian. Sorry, but yep. yep. Yeah, we've already had a boo boo up here in in the in the in the broadcast booth here tonight. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally accidental. Oh me. yeah, it's accidental, and and you know I know yours is probably accidental too, Brian. But you know it's uh, just it try to keep be... it as PG as we can. Yep. Uh, we got families and kids that watch. I don't know if they watch it because we're nutty or they watch it for the race. Uh, uh, or a combination I of would, both. I, would, I was going to vote for combination of both. <laughs> <laughs> Black Christopher Jordan now just went a lap down. Man. Still a ways to go. Coming up on lap number 69. Dave Ooh. Hunt. Hunter Reynolds, Sean Stevens, Dustin Logston, Gary Bergeron, Kenneth Bishop, Sanchez, English, Guerrero, Art Mann, Rick C. Brands, Larry Eddy, Nicholas Wing, Stuart Broderick, and Adam Kilday rounding out our top 15. I have not seen... Uh, I've seen Mara out there talk much. I know she's out there somewhere. Oh, she's watching. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's lurking. <laughs> but 21 of you are tuning in here tonight. Probably more people sharing screens, watching it on big screens. You know, we probably got 30 or so people all together watching do appreciate everybody out there tuning in here tonight at the o for the OP Super Speedway Buck Kicker and Limited Xfinity Series here. Season 14. Yeah, they've been around for a while, folks. Yep. Uh, round number three of the top 16 playoffs here at the Bobblehead OA to Daytona presented to you all by Max Speed TV. Of course, three lunatics up here in the booth. Myself, Joshua, my brother Jeremy, and our state neighbor and good friend, Stephen Lane. That'd be me. <laughs> Stephen Late or Late. <laughs> no, actually, Stephen Early here tonight. Stephen Early. I was. I, yeah, was, I, was. I was early tonight. He actually messaged me in Discord. Hey, you got room up there in the booth? So, uh, I, I said I guess. Actually, I said always. I should have said yeah. I guess, but, you know, yeah. I, I didn't. <laughs> oh, man. I'm waiting for the day where I ask that, you know, only if you be nice. 
Eh, that ain't gonna happen. Only if you be nice. <laughs> oh, man. Up 71, folks. 30 to go. No, and... Ginger, Derek's back out on the track. He's, I... uh... I'm showing six laps down. He see. is. Yeah. yeah, he's in 31st place, six laps down, yep. Who is it? Derek. Derek oh, yeah, Derek Donna right there. Yeah, six laps down, hanging back here in 30th. Yeah, that damage. Let's go ahead and kind of take a look at that damage here on the 215. Yeah, he's got some rear end damage on that. I don't know if that that's affected him, though. I don't think that's going to be yeah, much of a, a I factor. I mean, he did spend... Yeah almost two minutes in the pit so yeah he's probably getting some optional done yeah and uh Man. let's see where's dana at dana Dana's in, yeah he's in 28 yeah um I, is two, I, i've got i've got andrew zonto in 28 yeah so do i dana shepherd dana is, is in 17th yep Oh, there it goes. ATVO just updated. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> ATVO being uh, ATVO. Yeah, ATVO. pretty much. You know, I tell you, I, I'm really shocked. Uh, I mean, I I know he got mixed up in that big one earlier. Uh, Cody is not really having the night that I thought he was going to. Oh, one's in the wall. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, was that? Uh. Yeah. Stewart can't stay off that wall. Yeah, that's the 007. Yeah, yep, that's yep, Stewart. Yeah, he, yep, he scrapes the wall. Yeah, that's yeah, James Bond. Yeah, great guy, though. Love talking to him. He, he When he does interviews, though, it's pretty quick. Yeah. And he's going to go back out to the wall. I think he heard us. He listened. And, yeah. I, whoa, I, he's I getting real. He's awfully squirrely. I wonder if yeah. uh, tires are playing a factor. He's been out here 13 laps. Um, man, yep, right there with the 85 now, that of kill day. Sorry, Stephen, go ahead. No, I was just saying, I mean, I, mean I, I know Cody got caught up in that stuff earlier, you know, that big one earlier, but he's, I don't know if he's just laying back a lot or, well, uh, he's just not really having the Cody night that yeah. we're used to seeing. Well, he is one lap down, uh, and I think, you know, right now he's just kind of playing it safe, you know. With everything that's been going on out here on the track tonight, you know, a couple of big ones. I don't think he wants to be in a big pack. So the pack he's in right now, everybody's single foul, which is good. But, I mean, it, it's. Yeah, he's, let me see, one, two, three, four. He's, he's the fourth driver one lap down. So he is I'm looking have to do something. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at his car. He still got a lot of damage on that car. Look at look at his front uh both sides really. Oh, triple seven doing a little bit of blinking. I think he's been doing a couple uh, been doing that some of the night. Yeah. Night, yeah. Adam Adam's been blinking out pretty good here lately. All I've right. been watching that too. But yeah, Cody's got a lot of damage on his car, still body damage on his car. They are coming up here on a lap car. That is the 064 of Bo Benham. And they're gonna go three wide. Bo mm -hmm. cannot really do much. He is trying to stay as low as possible to let these guys by. But man, through that trioval, it's rough. <laughs> yeah. Cause he hit every single bit of those bumps. <laughs> Well, that's that's another spot too, right there, coming almost to the start as you're coming into that trioval, that start finish. There's a big little dip right there, and that that will jerk the wheel out of your hand. I was gonna say, let's all get into the zone auto zone, but man, they're <laughs> not having not having the auto zone race. No, coming up on a 215, another lap car. They just about got into it. Ooh. Oh, Derek's up on the wall. Oh. I don't know if he was getting them room, and it looked like I don't know was. what it was. Here, Derek Donna, there he is. Yeah, they're going to be coming up on Derek Donna here pretty quick. There's our leaders. There's Derek Donna right there. He's going to go another lap down here. And he's or was gonna... that Dan? That was Dana Shepard. Oh, 
Derek into the wall again. He's trying to stay high, let these guys go by. And you said Dana was into the wall too earlier. Yeah. Uh, Bubba, Bubba, are you live? No, I'm not. <laughs> I was wondering. Wow. Because we, I seen it first, and you said like something's going on yeah, here. Not live. <laughs> <You said> I... <laughs> wow. Not all here. Hey, first. I thought I was the only one that did that. <laughs> right. Lap, lap seventy-eight. Yep. You're probably still back there on lap forty. <laughs> no, the the ticker was right, but the live part was so. Oh, 26, 27. <laughs> Here we yep, go! Yep. 84 just lost his hood. Oh, no yellow for that? Oh, there yeah, was there another one that spun out, too. Oh. Yeah, we got a, yeah, we got a caution. I was fixing to say... Oh, that was Andrew Zantos. Andrew oh. Zantos spun out, too. Oh, man. All right. We'll take a look at that. We'll take a look at this. Look at the 27 coming down just a little bit too far. Right into Hunter Reynolds. Hunter back over to the 27. 81, nowhere to go. Lyles, Hunter. Hunter plows the one. And it was just kind of on from there. The 84, the triple seven, the 49. And then you said Zonto was also spinning it, right? Yeah, I'm looking at it now. Oh, Looks yeah, like right there. Yeah, okay, let's see. And here. I think Robert Edgerton. Edgerton Oh, oh, 215, I think, might have got him. Got him in the, yeah. That, that right rear, they were right here Oh, the 55. Right there, yeah, I just, wow. Look, look at that, as soon as he hit that left rear tire up off the ground. Yeah, man, that was a hard look, too. And I don't think the 215 meant to do that, but, you know, right there and and Robert Damn. had nowhere to go when Zonta, uh, Andrew come back down the track. No. I think Robert ended up T-boning him. Uh, no, actually he didn't. Oh, he shut it down. Yeah, okay, uh, yeah. Yeah, he, he totally missed him. Wow. All right. Now we're going to make sure. All right, back up live. Good. <laughs> yeah, hit that live button. I, I did. I, I made sure I was live this time. Well, I'm going to throw that piece of paper Oh, well, no, I better not, because uh, I, I still got a shot at this. All right, well, let's see here what's going on. A lot of drivers down pit road here. I think everybody came down. Uh, Dave Hunt. All right, the first one off. It looks like fuel only 8.8. .8. Richard Sanchez, a 7.5. Probably right sides for Kenneth Bishop, Steven. A 10.7, I think probably right sides. Maybe two, uh, yeah, two tires. I got him at, uh, at 16.2, so he might have taken all four. Uh, Kenneth Bishop? Yep. Okay, what do you got for Anthony English? Anthony English, 9.2. Wow, I've got a 10.7 on Kenneth and a 9.2 on Anthony. Uh, got 16.2 on Kenneth. Kenneth, I've got 10.6. Uh, looks I, like several of them went ahead and took... Uh, let's see here. Okay, so Kenneth Bishop four. did come down, take right side tires, fuel, and he was gone. He did not take left side tires. I think your okay. ATVO is kind of wonky. <laughs> yep, right side's going on. He did not take left sides. Nope. I thought I thought that was a the the, the two tire stop for Kenneth. I hate rewinding it like that and showing, but man, we we got to figure out why ATVO keeps acting. Well, ATVO. <laughs> I don't think there's anything. Uh, I don't either. I don't either. I might have it's to. Just, just ATVO, ATVO. Yeah, I might have to get a hold of Nick and figure out what's going on with it. See what. You know, maybe I know I need some new overlays, and that would yeah. that would definitely help. Uh, I know the timing screen is, you know, it's based on iRacing racing itself. So sometimes, like you know, uh, like it did on uh, on what's his name earlier for me, he pitted. I didn't have the box time, mm, right? But y'all did. So you know, hey, twenty to go. 
Oh, man, this is going to be close on, I think. Yep. Dennis said he would make us another overlay. I mean, he'd probably yeah. charge us a little bit, but. Uh, I, I, and, and I wouldn't, I mean, I wouldn't mind due to the fact that it is time consuming. <laughs> yeah, 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 it is very yeah. time consuming. I don't know how to do it, but. I don't either. It is Dur alert. Jeremy's uh, Kentucky Wildcat buddy says Reynolds rap is racist foiled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've known Lynn since 2009. So. Wow. Yep. All right, That's... Reynolds Rap Race is full. Yep, uh, someone should get a lap back. Yeah, I think a few did. I think Adam Green, Adam Kilday, the Brian Miskell Jr., Dana Shepard. Let's see, uh, Hunter Reynolds, Jimmy Reynolds, Rick Seabrands. I am trying to look here. So, uh, I'm going to answer Lynn's question. Uh, yes, uh, they're getting probably 23 to 25 laps on a tank of fuel. Barring any GWCs, they should be able to uh, go the distance on this last pit stop. Yeah. Um, the, the guys in the draft are going to be the ones that I think for sure will make it. Yeah. The leaders, though, they're going to use up more fuel quicker than those in the draft. So, I mean, could the leaders, too, make it? I, I think the leaders can, as but the the car behind them is going to have have to be pushing. Yeah. If if they get somebody behind them that can push well, back off on the corners because pushing these cars in the corners, really not. Oh, we're going back. Here we go. Yeah, really uh, not the best wise decision. To no, do. <laughs> not with these cars. No, they do get squirrely in the corners, and if you're off center just a little bit with these cars in a corner when you're bumper to bumper or bump drafting yep. and pushing. It's going to uh, be a helicopter ride. <laughs> it, it, you're going to spin them out. Yep. Well, it's the final countdown. Oh, Lord. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bob, what, uh, this is a random question, what league does Larry Blair race in? Larry Blair, that would be Sunday nights. SRU, okay. Yes. All right, Dave Hunt, Richard Sanchez, Kenneth Bishop, Anthony English, and I think the five barely etched out the 53 there. <laughs> yeah, he did. Wow, that was close. Let's see here, about third. Uh, yeah, that band up was close. Shoot. 53045 to 53089. <laughs> right, Anthony English, Mark Mann, Sean Stevens, Vicente Guerrero, Gary Bergeron, Rick Seabrands, and Jimmy Reynolds. Rounding out the uh, top 10, Dana Shepard, Hunter Reynolds, Adam Kilday, Nathan Warren, Larry Eddy, rounding out our top 15. Now we do have, however, 21 drivers on the lead lap. Brian Biscuit Jr. looking for a quick yellow here to get back on the lead lap, as well as Keegan Sabilo, Cody Nagels, Christopher Jordan. They're going to have to not be involved in it, though, if they do get a yellow. Because it'll keep going until somebody who wasn't involved in it gets that wave around. If everybody a lap down gets involved in it, then, well, nobody gets the wave around. The way it works here on iRacing. Right, so I'm going to keep my piece of paper there because I still got a chance. <laughs> Been a good race, though, so far, guys. I mean, we are down under 20 to go. We know what happens usually under 20 to go. Yeah. It Mayhem. <laughs> Mayhem, yes. Now, March Madden. <laughs> now, well, we are, we are technically still in March. Mm -hmm. Yep, today and tomorrow. And I will be watching back here. We got three yep. wide Always going on move. back here. Stuart Broderick right in the middle. It's the 993 on the outside with Cody Nagels right behind him. Cody's a lap down, I do believe. Yep, and so is. BK is three laps down. I think what's what. what 
Cody with with him being now he's back at the yeah. first car that's under uh, that's a lap down. If they have another caution, yes, he could get the lucky dog and get a, and get back on the lead lap. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what he's trying to do. Think, yeah, yeah, he just doesn't need to be involved in it. Three wide exactly. again. Yeah, that is to a Broderick. That is also uh, the. Well, now the 43, the 81, that was the 85 of Adam Kilday that was, I was trying to say earlier in my now mind. Now we got two rows of three wide. Uh, yep. G3. Oh, whoa. Oh, somebody got, somebody getting a little loose there. Dana Shepard. Yep. Now, it wasn't Dana's fault. The 993, <laughs> BK pulled right in front of him. Oh, and Stewart's oh, around the wall. Yeah, Stewart's around the wall, and uh, yeah, it's gonna stack them up a little. That's bit. That's Hunter. Right Hunter next to him too. Oh man, getting a little got, wild back yeah. here. Nathan Warren's in the twenty. To the inside. We are at fourteen to go. Melva out there. <laughs> out there saying it's nerve wracking. Yeah, it, it is. <laughs> it is. It is. You know, I'm not even out there driving tonight and I'm sweating. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I had to shut my window and turn the AC on. <laughs> All right, here we go. Taking it 13 this time by 13 to go. Hey, These guys need to be careful coming on yeah. that drive oval. Yeah. They're getting down below Whoa. that yellow oval. Oh, man. 53, man, those bumps, too, really affected, really up. Uh, it's affected everybody, but you could just see how they bounce. Well, they go to uh, Talladega next week and then back on April 13th. They're right back here at the old Daytona. Uh, yeah, and then they and, finish it out at, of course, the new Daytona. That's the championship yep. race. And if the 53 and the 5 don't knock it off, man, and, and it's just, just track. It's not them two. It's just that right. track. And uh, while I've got a moment here, folks, we are off tomorrow night due to Easter. No uh, broadcast on Monday because that's our regular off day. And then we are back Tuesday night with Graceland at Las Vegas. All right, back in Sin City. They're going three wide in yep, the back. Three wide oh, again. Three wide again. Here we go. Let's get back here. That's Hunter Reynolds in the middle. That sucker oh. hole. That's the, <laughs> got yeah. two of them blinking out in the back. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. That, that, that can cause major issues, Yeah, too. that code. It can cause a driver not seeing another driver. Stuart Broderick out there riding that wall. He, I mean, he's right there, and I don't know, I'm trying to figure out what Hunter's going to do here. Looks like he's going to go to the outside right behind Stewart, maybe try to give him a shove, get him up there, and it looks like Cody did the same thing. Cody's Man. up top side. Oh, the 993, Stewart's blinking. Oh, wow. Uh -oh. We've got three wide, four rows nah. deep here, nah. guys. Where? And it is getting, oh, 43 in the 007. Man. That 43 looks like Richard Petty's car. I know, right? <laughs> we, got, we got three wide up front now. Yeah. And it's uh, not for the lead no. because Cody's a lap down. But, yep. but Cody fighting to get his lap back here. Oh, they got to be careful. The, oh, Somebody's we got, off. Yeah, we got a car off into the wall. That is the triple seven of Adam Green. A hard lick. No yellow. Ten to go. And Adam took it behind the wall. Oh, golly. Yep. Are we going to go? Yep, he oh, sure man. did. 85 oh, yeah. bouncing off the wall. Adam Kilday. We are three wide. My four God, rows man. deep. Golly. He's talking about wanting to go three wide here. Now they're out oh, of one wide. Oh, golly. Here we are. Oh, no, I'm staying up front. Wide, split second. Yeah. I'm staying up front. I'm not yeah, going to move this here. position. Yeah, we got too much going on up front. I now. think if something wants to happen, guys, it's going to happen right up here up front. Yeah, they're way too close to Yeah. <laughs> something wants to happen. It's going to happen up here. They're going to hit nine to go here at the line, though. 
Hey, Le hey, Lynn, we got two rental rap cars out there, by the way. I don't know if you knew that or not. Yeah, we got two of them. Yeah, we yeah, got Hunter, Hunter Riddles and Jimmy Riddles. Father and yep. son, actually. Dave Hunt, I think, has – I think he's kind of sitting good right now. He is up here leading. Uh, and I think he's hoping, uh, you know, just, just let's just finish it out. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Uh, Richard Sanchez, though, he's up here too. And, and our last week's winner. Dave Hunt does not have a win this season. Uh, no. James Mayer, also known as Jim, who is not here tonight. Wow. Oh, I got a second here. There I'm gonna is. give a, I'm gonna give a shout out to a, a Thursday night driver, Vinny Maestas. He has won four straight races in that league. Yep. <laughs> so, I mean it. Yeah, that's man. crazy. Yeah, come out and watch uh, Thursday nights, folks. We could have a uh, what is that? Uh, see, four is quad, right? So what's five? Uh, Cinco. Let's see here. Yeah, that's Cinco. But what's Four is quad. You got you got hexagon, pentagon. What's five? I don't know what five is. Anyway, coming to seven to go this time by while you're thinking of it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's quintuple. 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 Yep. Yep. Uh, he, yep. All right. Well, number five is going to lead another lap. It's going to be Niners belt. That's going to be seven to go here. And I really got to use the bathroom, but I really don't want to get up. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. He gonna have a bucket by his desk before too long. Yeah. I just, I just need to buy that toilet, I guess, from the store. <laughs> uh oh, they're getting a little wiggly. Yeah, they are. I'm watching Anthony English here, and yeah. Cody. That's where they you they were doing the the little bumping going on. Well, I've been watching Jimmy Reynolds. Oh, him and his son are about oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh, and I've seen that happen, too. The 993 comes right down. Uh, I don't know if he got into the wall or if the – I think the bumps might have caused that. But, man, we're going to get on here on BK. We're going to go to a chase view. We're going to turn the camera, and uh, we're just going to kind of watch it. This These bumps here on this top side. Oh, he did scrape the wall. Yeah, see the little – Yep. Well, sparks fly off there, and then them bumps did not help the situation any at all. He just comes right down into the 27 there, and ah, man, 27 shot Stevens. Nowhere to go, and that just kind of stacked them up here, folks. And the 17, the 81, the 4. Oh, golly, the 20 of Nathan Warren. Brian Miskell Jr. squeezing through that. Larry Eddy, I think, going to get maybe a little piece of it. Christopher Jordan's going to get a piece of shine. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, that... 81 came back up and was just driver's side door of Jimmy Reynolds straight up into the wall. Oh. <clears throat> well. That had. Mm. Hey. Joe Amato, six car getting his lap back. Well, yep, he's coming around. He's coming around. Yep. It looks like he will get his lap back here, so he will be back on the lead lap. Now we are within the window pit stop, so they, uh, I would assume, track position now with five to go. They're going to be able to save uh, Dave Hunt, 16 laps, Kenneth Bishop, 16, Mark Mann, 16, Sanchez, 16, English, 16, Desente, 16, saving fuel, Stuart Broderick, 15, Hunter Reynolds, 16, and Larry Eddy. That's the top nine. Did not pit. 15 laps. Uh, Adam Kilday on back. Did come down pit road. So, but Cody's coming down pit row. Probably just get a splash of fuel and be gone. That's what I would do if I was him. Just yeah. come down, get, get you know, enough fuel. I don't know. Is he still has a reset, but I would say. He already it. used it. 
No, nope, he's, he's still got it. No, he oh, still has really? it. Yes. Because his car looks a lot cleaner than what it did. <laughs> Maybe he just got the damage fixed. Uh, he might have got it washed while he was down there last time, too. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he still, sure. yeah, he still has it, so... Surely he wouldn't use it now. Uh, no. Uh, I you know. He's getting four tires. I knew all that. Yeah, he's, no, he I got him it. at 14.3. That's what I got him as well. So. Lynn Combs out there. Yeah. EWC might be. Yeah, and you're not wrong. You're not wrong. It's going to be close on fuel, but this is not going to be a GWC attempt. This is going to be regulation still. So, um, man. Jeez. Where did he go? Who? Cody. There he is. Uh, oh, yeah, he's back four, up a 19. Uh, uh, 14 and a half second stop. But I got him. Here we go. Yep. Lights are off. And four to go. So it'll be three to go when we get the green. We are still under regulation here tonight. We could possibly finish it. Under regulation. That's a rarity. We've got a... A 38.9% chance. <laughs> <laughs> where, do you, where do you get that at? I don't know. Just no. throwing numbers out there. That, yep. that, that's that Joshua math. Yeah. Well, it, it, I, I say 50-50. Either they will or they won't. <laughs> so, <let> me... <laughs> All right. And... Ryan Decker, 10 out there. No breaks. Uh-oh. <laughs> Bubba Winningham. Bub telling the, uh, Lynn to shut up. <laughs> wow. Yeah, because he says if they get another caution. Yeah, yeah. hush, Lynn. Uh, Ginger out there telling saying, did your mama teach you to do the bathroom before the race? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she taught me to use the bathroom before a lot of things, but, you know. <laughs> Mama said there'll be days like this. There'll be days oh, like gosh. this. <laughs> I just had to. Oh, man. <laughs> all right, everybody, don't talk all at once. <laughs> I'm, I was drinking some coffee. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I had to, I had to uh, stop drinking coffee. I think my... That coffee's been sitting in there since early earlier today. I think it ruined. Oh, <laughs> that's the best type of coffee. Mm. No, it just didn't taste good. All right, I here turned. we go, guys. Hang on, hold your thought there, bub. Yep. Here we go. Place car is down, off and away, and Dave Hunt drinking us out. We are going to have three laps to go here. Now, of course, we're going to go ahead and say it. We get a yellow. Well. It's going to set up a GWC attempt, one of 15, whatever. Uh, well, 81 <laughs> getting squirrely back there, getting on that apron. But, uh, you know, get to the white flag, guys. White comes out before a caution. That's it. You know, they're racing to the line. But get a yellow. And, all right. I've already spoke my mind. <laughs> and here we go. We got uh, got a sticky, nope, no sticky situation back here yet. We are going to be hitting that two to oh. go. Oh, yep. I'm glad I came back up front. <laughs> here we go, two to go. And I don't know who got that. I think Kenneth did. Barely. Kenneth just yeah. Took Kenneth, yep. He did. Man, barely. Well, he <laughs> tried to door Mark there for a second. <laughs> Mark will do oh, 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 the five. Oh, here we go. That opened that middle up. Three yep. Oh. Oh, here we go, though. Three wide. We got the Riddles. Riddles hey. machine on the outside. That is Hunter. Kill day behind him. Oh, golly. There, Mark Man. He went top <laughs> side. Yeah, he did. Got Anthony English yep. down behind. And here we go. We are going to go to the no, no. Yeah, no caution as of yet. No, no. no. We are going to go. Whoa, what to go. Oh, my goodness one gracious. One lap to go. They wrecked at the line. The leader was already crossed. 
We're going to finish this out tonight. Sorry, blew your eardrums out. Yeah. <laughs> my goodness. This wow. is my time. This is how I get loud. Three wide for the win. Oh, and here comes Anthony. He yeah, is pushing Anthony. Kenneth Bishop. Well, is Mark going to get his uh, uh, second week in third place? I don't know. Well, We're going to say Kenneth up front. Anthony, Mark going to look to the outside. Oh, oh Anthony throwing a block. But man. Mark is not going to be able to do it. There we go. It's over. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Kenneth Bishop, wow. Wow. Kenneth. And Mark Mann, Mark Mann got third for the second straight week. Yep. <laughs> he said he was going for another third, so. <laughs> wow. Wow. Kenneth Bishop with the win here tonight. Anthony English in second. Mark in third. Dur Broderick coming back. Grabbing a top five in fourth. And Larry Eddy will grab that fifth spot here this evening. Of course, our podium is the top three. We're going to talk to Kenneth, Anthony, and Mark here tonight. Man, that was a finish. And I, I, I don't, man, I'm kind of speechless, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm just wondering how Anthony didn't get turned right there, but wow. Yeah, he threw a block. Big and... <laughs> time. Oh, man. Oh, man. All righty. Well, Mark, you better stay in your car there, buddy. And Kenneth Bishop going to burn it up here tonight, folks. Wow. He is, he's tearing up the grass. I don't think the, the lawn care guys are going to be too happy. <laughs> nope. All right. Well, hang tight, folks. We're going to get the top three down here for the Max P TV post race show. But first... A word from, well, Max Speed TV. Alrighty, folks, we are back. We have caught up with our top three here tonight. Of course, we, you know, it, it seems like we're just going to have to put him up here in the booth all the time here this evening because it doesn't matter 
Mark Man finds a way up here in podium. Mark, awesome job again here tonight, man. Uh, finishing third, of course, being consistent, man. I mean, mm -hmm. we're, we're seeing a lot of this here. So, But, hey, always being consistent, that's the big thing. Talk about the race out here coming in two tonight, buddy. In third of the point standings, only 14 behind Cody, one behind Adam. Man, what was it like down there here tonight for a hundred gruesome laps? I mean, we had pit stops and everything. <laughs> well, it was a lot better than most typical 08s having green flag pit stops, which was wonderful. That was awesome. Um, I know it did spread out the field a lot, but that's a cool part of it, actually. Um, you know, uh, I was able to stay out of trouble all night, which is a miracle. But um, as far as, like, the atmosphere, I thought it was pretty good. And, uh, you know, it was an enjoyable race. It, I just pitting and staying out of trouble got me there close at the end. Ken did a good job uh, at the end there. He, you know, nobody died and he put some blocks on that were clean and that's all you can ask for. Hey. Everything, everything worked out. Got a third. Yeah, I mean, it, it was a fight there at the end. We seen it. I mean, I think even Steven said something about it here because we seen that huge. I don't know if it was a block by Anthony, but it looked like it. He was trying to block you. But, I mean, he <laughs> that was close. That was close. Uh, man, talk about it because that, that could have went south quickly. <laughs> Yeah, I saw it too. So I mean, I checked up a ton. I pro I may have had an opportunity to get second place there, but and then I saw Stewart coming on my outside three wide with no help. I mean, our only chance would have be obviously to link up and try to make a run and do a late pass. But yeah, yeah I saw the checkup and I actually got out of gas there coming out of four and was hoping Anthony would get in front of me, but uh ken actually put a good clean block on him and got him a little bit out of shape so i just was content to finish third and that's what happened all man. Good. well awesome job out here tonight buddy talladega next week 94 laps man round number four how you feeling uh you know honestly this is probably cody's championship to lose you know he's going to be up front in every single race uh you know he's a good consistent driver i think I think the championship is his to lose here. Um, I don't know what I have for the end. Well, we'll find out. What do we have? Three races left, you uh, said? Let's see here. Well, tonight, and we're going into two. round number four. So, yeah, three. Yeah, All right. Round four, five, well, and then six. So, yeah, yeah, three well, races. I mean, still anything could happen, but it's going to be an uphill battle. It's going to be tough. Uh, it'll be fun, though. I enjoy yeah. the Saturday racing, especially yeah. lately. It's been a lot cleaner. So. Yeah, and you got two uh, nutcase, uh, three nutcases up here, you know. <laughs> so you know, it makes it makes the the when you go back and watch it because I know you always do. We do appreciate it, Mark. Uh, when you go back and watch the races, you, I, I'm sure you guys crack up laughing. So uh, oh, we have a uh, good time. <laughs> so, but you know, uh, it was a uh, an awesome race out here at the 08. I always get nervous at 08 of Daytona, but you know, we're not we're not gonna keep you. You know, we're going to let you go celebrate your third out here tonight, buddy. But I know you probably got a, you know, a few final thought shout outs, thanks you want to give. We got Talladega, like, like I said, next week. We're going to see three, four, five wide action next week. Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be wild. I look forward to it. All righty, buddy. Well, final thought shout outs, thanks you want to give before you go celebrate. Yeah, thanks to Mara for watching. I know she's watching. Uh, happy birthday to my mother today. Um, got in late. Goes out to birthday dinner. Uh, thanks to everybody who was uh, tuning in tonight and all the admins behind the scenes and you guys for broadcasting. All right. Well, happy birthday to Mark, Mark Mann's mom. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, bro. From Max Speed TV. All righty, Mark. We'll let you go, man. We'll see you next week, buddy. Sounds good. Yep. All right, well, that is going to bring us to our second place finisher here tonight, the 44 of Anthony English. Anthony, man. What's up? Man. I haven't seen you since, like, week three. Yeah, yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been a bit. Uh, but, yeah, you found the podium here at the 08 of Daytona, man. Uh, it, it, you know, uh, the old weight of Daytona, you, you guys have raced here week in and week out. Y'all should know the ins and outs of this track. But mm -hmm. in all honesty, every race is different. Doesn't matter yeah. what it is. Talk yeah, they about, all are. Yeah, talk, talk about tonight because we had a few yellows. We had green flag pit stops. We had three wide. 
We even had people cutting grass out there, but we also had awesome saves here tonight too. So they talk yeah, about it. Was, it. it was a pretty wild one. I mean, the the cars I don't I don't know why. Maybe the track was just a little a little hot, but once you got on the end of that run, uh they were a little wishy washy, so it it was a little bit of a handful until you were able to get some tires on. I mean, that last little stretch we had, I, I, I at least had rights on, so it was a lot more manageable. But yeah, it, it was a pretty good race. I mean, we had a couple big ones. Uh, it took a little bit for everybody to get in their groove, but in the end, it all it all came around, and we ended up having a, a really good finish here. And congrats to to Kenneth there. I, I, I needed points. You know, you know, if it wasn't for points, I, I would have done a hell of a lot more to try to get by him. Yeah. to pass him for that win but i didn't want to kill me i didn't want to kill mark i didn't want to kill him I needed to get a get a good night to build some momentum going into the rest of the season rest of this, uh the playoffs here so we uh, maybe we can do something and contend with these guys in the last couple races or something but we'll we'll see i'm gonna give her my my all here so well, we've got, you know, three races left, you know, round four, five, and six. So, we, we you know, the, we anything can happen in three races. You know, you come in two tonight, you know, down a spot. You needed points. Kenneth needed points. So, you know, y'all got the y'all got some points here tonight. Now, you are, what is it? Look like 37 behind Cody, but only four behind Brian Miskell Jr. for that spot. I don't know how far you're going to move up, but this is definitely a start going into, you know, the upcoming races, such as Talladega next week. I mean, you're looking at three wide guaranteed, possibly even four wide there. Nope. I mean, it, it's crazy what could happen between uh, next week on out. Oh, I know. I just needed I, – I was just thinking team points. Just needed to build oh, some yep. momentum. I mean, I had a really terrible first two races of this playoff, so – and it. You get this far down, I mean, you just got to sometimes throw a couple of Hail Marys at it and, and see <laughs> if you can't do something to catch up, you know. Yep. Oh, yeah, definitely so. Well, do you have anything here, Stephen, for Anthony? Yeah, I was just going to tell Anthony he needs to put uh, next to this 44, just put Mag next to it. <laughs> he was a bullet out there tonight. Uh, she was fast. She was fast, but not quite fast enough. Kenneth and but, he, he made some good blocks there. And, yeah, good, congrats to him for sure. Well, definitely good run, Anthony. Good run, guys. Hey, thank you, thank you. Hopefully, we can carry this momentum into next week. Do it again. Maybe we can talk to you guys again. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Talladega, man. And the like I said every like I say every week, you know it, and I know it, man. These races are a crapshoot. It, it's just all about basically luck. You know where you're at at a certain time, not to be in a certain positions, but it's crazy. You know. Good racing, but it can't get crazy. So yeah, and I I fully <laughs> expect the next races to be absolutely nuts. So we'll we'll definitely see if I can carry carry this lucky this luck with me the last three races and you know maybe get up there close to them and do something maybe. Yeah. All righty, buddy. Well, any you know final thoughts, shout outs, things you want to give before you go celebrate your P two, get ready for Dega. Oh well, first off, start off with you guys broadcasting every weekend. You guys do an amazing job. We love what you guys do. So big shout out to to you and even Steven coming in and helping you. He's been doing amazing. So uh, big shout out to you guys. Uh, shout out to Kenneth for winning. Good block in there. Um, all the team guys we're running with tonight. Uh, you know, Rick, Mark, oh, Richard, Kilday. Uh, oh, my God. There's a couple other in there, but it's too many lists sometimes. Um, <laughs> and yeah, family, friends, everybody watching. Beautiful girl for, girlfriends mm -hmm. letting me do this all the time. And, yeah, I think I – I crossed all the I's and dotted all the T's. <laughs> <laughs> you stole it from me. <laughs> Come on. <Aha>! <laughs> <laughs> all righty, buddy. Well, go celebrate your P2 here tonight. We'll see you next week. All right. Thank you, guys. You guys have a good one. <laughs> you do, bud. All right. Well, that is going to bring us up here to our winner here tonight, NerdTunes49. Kenneth, man. Awesome job out here tonight, boy. I had to come down to the wire, but hey, you pulled it off, man. Started 30th, but it's all about, you know, those last, that last and final lap. But let's talk about it. Let's hear it from you as a driver, what it took out there here tonight to bring it home into victory lane. Yeah, it was a, it was a crazy race. It was a great night. Uh, needed that after last week to get back up in the points there. Um, 
you mentioned start back in 30th. I like starting in the back, kind of work your way up and have that last pit stop or so or stall or so. But no, it was good. It was definitely what we needed. Me and Anthony were talking about that. We needed a good points night tonight. Yeah, I, I was even talking to Anthony about that too, Kenny. Uh, uh, well, Kenneth, it's Kenny in here. Man, I get so confused. Kenny, y'all no, need you to can go, Kenny. <laughs> y'all, y'all need to keep it straight. You know, if it, if it's in one, it needs to be in the other. Uh, <laughs> but, um, you know, yeah, you, you coming in too tonight, man. Yeah, didn't have a very good, you know, last week. I mean, you dropped eight spots, so you definitely needed this one. Or at least a good night. And, hey, it can't get any better than this, right? <laughs> Oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, you know, I was going to be content with third, but when we went across the line for the white and Mark was up high, I was like, "This is my opportunity. I need to go low and then see what I can do." And and my buddy Stewart, he went three wide, and I was like, "Oh, thank you. This is actually going to help us getting into the turn with Anthony behind me." So it, it worked out pretty well. Well, let's talk about it. You guys coming across the line, and then everybody behind y'all kind of wrecks. Well, I say what the poor choice of words. They wrecked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> was you worried about that there being a caution, or did the white flag on y'all's end already come out? So on our end, I think we were at the line when when uh, Sanchez started spinning. So we were already good. Unlike last week, I thought because we had it earlier in the year where we had a you know a wreck right there in the trial vault, and I thought we went across the line. The caution came out last week. It did not. So I wasn't too worried about it. And once we got across, I was like, oh, yeah, we're, we're sailing now. So it's going to be between the four of us. But I figured the inside was the way to go. And then I was just doing a little Ross block in there. And I didn't <laughs> want to do too much. I didn't want to wreck us. But I, I was just trying to secure it as much as I could. Yeah, and it looks like I think Anthony even threw a little block there on Mark, too. So, you know, it was uh, – we're a little blocking. But, hey, man, it's white flag. You guys are going for the win. So, you know, good win here tonight. I'm going to – let's. Steven, see if Steven's got anything for you here tonight, Steven, bud. I had, Kenneth, good good run, man. I mean, that was just it was an awesome finish to watch. Uh what what uh how how do you say the pit uh pit stop strategy came into play on that? You thought it was think it was pretty important or um I mean, we were when we were looking at it, we were like a lap to the good. And then when that last caution came out, or well, second the last caution came out with about 22 to go, um, I was going across the line half a tank shy, and then I uh, was saving, and I actually got ahead of it, and we had that caution. And we were good, unless we had a couple green whites, then we were going to be in trouble. But um, I think I ended up with probably two or three laps of fuel left. So we were pretty good on that, and the pit stops were, were doing great. I think we had... Uh, both Reynolds, uh, Dustin was in there, and we had one other, and I think about the five or six of us just kept on moving. So every pit stop, we'd come down top five. We'd finish out top five afterwards. So we were, between the five of us, we were hitting them pretty good tonight. Well, definitely definitely a good race tonight. One of the better ones I've seen. Uh, you know, I, I used to run with you guys out here and, and just kind of bowed out because it, it kind of got nasty there for a little while, but definitely, definitely gotten better. Some good runs going tonight, and uh, man, congratulations on the win. Hey, I appreciate it. Yeah, it was a, it was a good race tonight. Um, I mean, there's still good battles. I think being bumpy and not going three wide as much probably helped. Um, but it was like you said, it was a great race here at the Bumpy Daytona. All righty, well, Talladega next week, man. That's we're gonna see a lot of three wide there. I mean, that's a given. Four uh, wide. Well, I think four wide. we're going to see four wide, no doubt about it, but three wide's guaranteed. I mean, that, that's just, it's just wide enough for three wide. Having this momentum going into Talladega now with only three races left, how do you keep being consistent? Not necessarily win, but, you know, with, you know, being consistent at, you know, at Dega, at 08, and then to finish it out at, of course, the new Daytona. Um, I mean... I've been this season. I miss. I missed a lot of races. Had some scheduling going on, stuff like that. But I think I've been in top five and top ten, at least in half of them. So I've been trying to be consistently in that top ten. Is what you need in the playoffs, especially without having knockouts this year. So uh, last week, I think I was one first or second there when we had that wreck coming the three to go, and that took me out. So it, it was up there, and I was hoping that would have finished. So I just need to do that these next couple of races and. Top five, I mean, it was kind of like last year in the playoffs and the get in. I was fighting my way in and made my way to the top four, just inching away, you know, top five after top five. So we're just going to try to do that again, see if we can creep back up there and make it run for it. All right. Well, like I said, you know, Talladega, big track. 
2.66 miles. I mean, a lot of three wide, even four wide. I'm not going to rule it out. I wouldn't even rule out a five wide with you guys. So, uh, it's happened before. <laughs> yep. So, awesome job out here tonight on the victory. But I uh, final thought, shout out, thanks. You want to get before you go celebrate, you know, get some rest. Have a happy Easter. I know I didn't say that to the other two, but, you know, have a happy Easter tomorrow as well, man. Mike's yours, bud. Yeah, uh, appreciate it. I'll give a shout-out to a couple, you know, uh, Nerdtudes and my Nerdtudes teammates out here. Martin Sports, Irish and I Flag, Boomer Button Box, Butt Kicker, Team Watson Setups, all those guys. Uh, thank you for the support that they have. Uh, again, my teammate Dustin out here. And then uh, we just had the birth of our second child on the 19th. So I'm going to oh, like wow. try to get some rest here and and uh, enjoy Easter with them, the two daughters that we have. So it'll be good. I hope you all enjoy your Easter as well and, and you know have a good rest of the night and all that good stuff that goes with it. I want to say congratulations, bud. Absolutely. Yeah. I appreciate it. Uh, congratulations on the new one. Uh Waking up every 15 minutes. <laughs> uh, yep. Yeah. Yep. That's uh, it right now. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, you know, good luck. Congratulations, man. I mean that in a good way, uh, by the way. Yeah. So, you know, go get some rest. Enjoy the victory. We'll see you next week at Dega, buddy. All right. Appreciate it. Yep. Y'all have a good night. You too, man. All right. All right. Well, Steven, man, I got to say, you know, yeah, we only had a handful of cautions. Five cautions. That's it. That's, that's all, it. That's it. That's all we had here tonight for 15 laps. So, you know, you you minus it was a hundred lap race. So for 85 laps, we went green flag <laughs> here tonight. Uh, man, I'm telling you, this this was, <laughs> I, you know, I didn't get I wasn't even last week was a good race. I mean, I think we had a few more cautions yeah. last week, but you know. It's it's getting like like I said it, it it's definitely gotten better. Uh, I'm glad to see that because I mean being out there with these guys, they're a good group of guys. They really are. Uh, but uh, I'm just glad to you know see a lot more clean racing yeah. going on. Yeah, and I I think you know we we are you know getting into the the final races of this you know top sixteen you know championship you know battle for it. You know, it's probably going to get a little crazier. I, I can't rule that out because these guys are fighting for a butt kicker. You know, yep. they're fighting for a, a potential trophy, I believe. I don't know exactly. I know they're getting a butt kicker. Oh, yeah, by the way, thank you, butt kicker, for that. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, without butt kicker, that wouldn't be possible. Uh, so there's a lot on the line for these guys. And, you know, it, it's still anybody's championship and and i believe uh was it mark or anthony one of them said it's cody's to lose oh absolutely so, uh, you know <laughs> but like it's like you said at the beginning there there's a lot of movement going on in the in the you know the 16 spots mm -hmm. and all it takes is being consistent you know if you can consistently finish in the top five top 10 uh, that's going to get you some points to get up towards the top of that list. Oh, yeah. I'm interested to see what the points are going to be like going into next week. <laughs> I am, too. You know? So, uh, we'll have to wait on that. But, man, a big shout-out to everybody that tuned in here tonight. I'm not even going to go really through the list, I guess. I mean, w what the heck? We'll do it. Uh, Ginger Parent, I think everybody's used to be doing it. Uh, Ginger yeah. Parent, Bubba Winningham, uh, Daniel Parent, Lynn Combs, Brian Odell, Mara, Joe Ryan. Uh, out there, Ron Decker in the chat. Carl uh, Sanchez yeah. was out there. Uh, Belva. Belva, Brent Menifee. I'm uh, kind of scrolling through here. here. Yep. Even, so, even Matt Wagner was out there yep. a couple times. Yep, he told me not to pick him. Yeah, he even said it's every week. <laughs> 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 oh, man, I just now seen that. And, oh, man, Joe Amato. Man, I know we had a pretty good turnout. Uh, Andrew Maletta. I think Andrew was even out here racing and unfortunately missed a shift. And I've been there before, you know. Yep. Popped his uh, engine. Yeah, it it happens. Uh, I think we've all been there at, at some point. So, uh, if I did miss anybody uh, that was in chat here tonight, I do apologize. But, again, thank you all you know, for tuning in. Thanks everybody out there that was not talking. That Rob. was, uh, yeah, there's, there's, there's Rob there. Yep. Uh, that was not talking. Uh, yeah, it's a fight to the end. 
Uh, you got Absolutely. that right, Ed. Uh, you know, I know we had a, a couple people watching on the big screen. Of course, Steven's uh, family. Uh, they weren't talking, but they was out there. So that's plus two more, you know, even though it's not officially on uh, YouTube. But do appreciate everybody out there. And Steven, of No, course, it was on YouTube. They were on. They, they were watching on YouTube. I understand that, but it only yeah. goes at one view because they're oh. both watching. It's not too... <laughs> Well, in my eyes, it was. Well, yeah, my eyes, it was too, but it's not on YouTube. But hey, I do appreciate it. But absolutely, uh, you know, Steven, thank you, you know, for joining me and my brother up here. You know, it, you know, my brother don't do interviews, and he had something he had to go do real quick. So, but you know, uh, thank you both. I mean, we 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 have a good time, but we call the race, and that's what matters. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah and and thanks for having me again, Josh. Like yeah. I said, uh, I mean. It, it's fun to get up here with you guys. It gives gives a gives people viewing a kind of a driver's perspective that uh, most people don't get to see. You know, being being out here running these tracks as well, it, it kind of gives your viewers a a, a perspective that uh, you guys may not be able to 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 give sometimes. Yeah, yeah, and you know, as a driver myself, formerly, I've got experience on here. So I know a little bit about certain. I know more about certain tracks than I do others. You know, like coming up on Wednesday, we got Thompson. I know nothing about that track. All I know mm-hmm. is I've heard people that don't like it. <laughs> That's all I know. So well, I might have to, uh, I might have to go run that and give you some insight. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, you know, that's going to be, that's a track that I don't know anything about, but a lot of these tracks, like these guys were in super speedways. So Talladega, Daytona, Daytona, uh, I racing super speedway, get more familiar with it. Uh, I know there's a run Atlanta, uh, Atlanta, uh, even though I really don't consider Atlanta super speedway, but well, it drives like it one. does drive <laughs> like one. So, you know, they do, they did run it a couple times this season. First time, it was rough. Uh, second time, it was a lot better than the first time. <laughs> so, yep. uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, like I said, I know more about certain tracks than others. So that that always, you know, helps too. And of course, getting the inside information from drivers like Rob and you and, you know, Mark Mann and, you know, other drivers, Bubba Winningham, you know, getting that inside information you know, does help as a broadcaster. I do appreciate all the help I can get. So, but uh, I think I think we're about done other than going through the uh, unofficial results. <laughs> like I said, again, just, I, I just thank you guys for letting me come up here. Really, yeah. I do. I, I enjoy it. Uh, you know, we have a, like you said, we have fun, but we call the race. Yes, yeah, yeah. But we joke with the fans. It's all about the fans. Fans weren't here, we wouldn't be doing this. Yep. So thank you all again for that. But here is the unofficial results. Putting in the admin stuff they have to do here tonight. Kenneth Bishop grabbing the win here in the Nerdtoons 49. Awesome job, Kenneth. Anthony English there in second. And Mark Mann in third. Stuart Broderick he did come back. Grabbed that fourth spot. Uh, I know the wall wasn't too friendly to him, but, you know, hey, top five for him. Awesome job, bud. Larry Eddy grabbing that fifth spot. EJ DeBoer, sixth. Hunter Riddle, seventh. Rick Seabrand's eighth. Cody Nagel's ninth. And Vicente Guerrero rounding out our top ten. Adam Kilday at 11th. Gary Bergeron, 12th. Bo Benham, 13th. Jimmy Riddle's 14th. Nathan Warren, 15th. Dustin Dustin. Logston in a 16th, Richard Sanchez 17th, Dana Shepard 18th, Nicholas Wing 19th, and Dave Hunt 20th, Brian Miskell Jr. 21st, Christopher Jordan 22nd, Egan Sabilo 23rd, BK Anderson 24th, Andrew Zanto 25th, Sean Stevens 26th, Derek Nada 27th, uh, Adam Green 28th, Robert Edgerton 29th, and David Stringle 30th. Lynn McNeese, 31st, Matt Wagner, 32nd, Andrew Maletta, 33rd, Joey Beck, 34th, and John will finish tonight here in 35th. Man, I do feel sorry for John. Yeah, I that know. was... I, that, that, I think that was just a mental mistake, honestly. Yeah, I know he did not mean to do that. Uh, no. 
But he'll come back. I think the 519, we'll see him back next week at Talladega, and you never know. He can bring it home into victory lane. So um, we'll see what happens. But, again, thank you all for tuning in here tonight. Have a happy Easter to everybody, whether you celebrate it or not, and have a happy Easter. We do appreciate everybody out there. Of course, Steven, my brother, uh, all the admins over here, Anthony, Mark, uh, Jimmy Riddles, uh, I mean, there, there's so many of them that do a lot here at OP. We can't thank them enough, but Kicker, and, of course, anybody else that I miss. But I'm done rambling here tonight, folks, so y'all take it easy, and uh, we will be back here on a Tuesday night. But until then, again, thank you all. Stay safe, and have a good night.